Frankie! Merry Christmas, brother. I'm trying to fucking drop the, the link to the fucking panel in it. It will not let me do it. It's just not, it just won't. I've tried to edit it for fucking StreamYard. I've tried to drop it by itself. It's just not going to let me fucking do it. Finally. Only took six fucking tries. No sound. Really? Ain't no sound. Can't hear me. You can't hear me. Okay. All right. <coughs> well, if I didn't give me a notification for this, I'll drop another fucking video tonight. Then. Echo, 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 echo. <laughs> what? Hey, did uh, did you all get a notification? Nope. Huh? Yes, I got no. I got a notification. One from half hour ago. I know. Same good on there. So that was going to go over thirty minutes. Huh? Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and Maria, too, eh? Green Thumb. Yeah, it started off started off bad day. Woke up and realized I hated Christmas still. And got kind of into a depression. Then I couldn't find my feedback coffee cup. And then that made my fucking depression worse. Finally, I found my feedback coffee cup. And uh, a couple of people sent us a few bucks for Christmas here and there. And made the day a little better. Left there. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. How you been doing? Same old, same old. Don't live in Ohio no more. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yep. We had to get out of the house we were at because we didn't have enough for the rent. So I'm back in my grandma's house now. <laughs> Damn. But we're looking for a house still. <laughs> like in Bullhead or King in either or. <laughs> yes. Damn, I'm still tired. What about you? <laughs> <coughs> I just want to say Merry Christmas and that's it. But I'm going to hop off a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, brother. Take care. Can you hear me? Breaking! Yep. You can hear me, yeah? I hear you, Frankie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna open up. We did he? Now you're not talking. <laughs> what? No, I'm just gonna open up back to let me know. <sighs> I think he's breaking up a little bit. Yeah, better. ACC Small Water, what's up? What's that, Frankie? Stupid fucking mic. Something about your fucking mic. Headed to the casino. That's a hell of a place to spend Christmas. 
don't understand why it's not working properly. Now that sounded perfect. You sounded perfect right there. Said I don't understand why it's not working properly. God damn fucking mic. <laughs> Just got a tug on it a few times and it works. <laughs> That's what she said. I was waiting for it. <laughs> That's usually how it works, though. Just tug on it a few times. I'll get one after Christmas. What, get somebody to tug on it after Christmas? Maybe. Is it cheaper after Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. The price for everything's going up, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, be, yeah, you know, it'll be helpful for New Year. It'll be triple for New Year. It's great. <sighs> Daughter has to work tonight, so we may as well hang out with her. Spend some money. Hell yeah. I'm so Yeah, tired. we got some little gaming places around here, but they kind of suck. They're just a little slot machine thing. I've got really bad on the things. I'm still there, just thinking. Wasn't a very good Christmas this year for me. But somebody got a really nice Christmas. They cleaned off the back of my truck. Fucking hell, man. What the fuck? Yeah, there, there was people out on the road. It's a perfect night for it, isn't it? Christmas. Yeah. I can't. All you have to do is get into your, into your living room, and that's it. One door. No idea who did it. Can't prove if it was done here at the apartment building or if it was done up in Eau Claire when I went shopping yesterday. I didn't look in the back of the truck when I got home, but it popped the copper door open, got all nine of my rods, my tent, my Coleman oh, grill, <laughs> fishing rods, tackle, the whole nine yards. That's as bad as losing your tools. Yep. Oh, yeah. Worse because I can't afford to replace any of it. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. Because it's a gradual thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we build this shit up over years, mate. Well, that's the reason why I don't even bother because I know I haven't got. Uh, it's just too much. Because carp fishing, it's just too much. I, I'd have to just start a basic again, just normal river fishing. Hello. No, I don't think I'm going to actually bother. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, how you doing, Sasha? Hey, hey mate. Okay. Merry Christmas. Oh, happy oh, Friday. It's uh, past now, isn't it? 11 minutes past. Thanks. Um, I don't do Christmas, though. It's just Friday. It's just Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is for me as well, mate. Um, but I just indulge other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Although I did get my first Christmas present in a in a in about fucking ten years or something today. <laughs> Am I, did I hear you right? Have you? Has there been a theft? Yeah. Oh dear. That's never good. No. It isn't. Just another really? twenty twenty thing, isn't it? Willie knows what it's like. A fixed income like we're on. You just can't afford to replace any of it. Hey, you don't have to tell me about that, mate. I get enough to make my bills, and that's about it. Was it valuable stuff that can that can't be all all all, all nine of my fishing rods, my tackle box, my weights, my camp grill, tent, the whole nine yards. So accumulation of time. Yep. It's going to take ages to replace it. Oh, sorry to hear that. 
The only thing they didn't get because I was working on them, making them kind of for show for everybody was <laughs> the new banker ads I built the other day and live streamed. Yeah. And I was going to put them in the darn truck too and then I don't know why I didn't, but something told me to keep them in here for showing off a little longer, but otherwise I'd have them too. Well, I'll probably end up doing a giveaway on them because, like I say, I can't afford to replace rods right now. Nuds are killing me. Are those things that you were using all the time? I mean, are you going to miss yeah. them? Yeah. yeah, I use them all the time fishing. Well, it is, it's like a man losing his tools. That's why I said that at first. You just feel like there's something missing. When I lost my fishing gear, I was well upset. Maybe, maybe over time they can be replaced. Yeah, but quite, some of the stuff we, we we take years, man. One of just one of my rods, mom bought twenty twenty five years ago that I've still got. He's, you know, I think my cheapest rod was like a hundred and fifty bucks a rod, real new line, the whole nine yards. <laughs> Willie, I just watched your video. Um, what was it called? Something about cops. Uh, Go cops, rucka rucka. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was kind of confusing. I didn't know. I didn't know what to feel about it. You said it offends everybody. I suppose it does. I'm surprised yeah. you didn't ban that right off of YouTube. I know they just keep letting me react to it. It was kind of weird because the. The sort of the the feel. The next one we're going to do from is called Hitler's Suicide Note. Well, you weren't the only one that did the review on that one. I mean, there's a couple other YouTube channels out there that did it. And yeah. It's still up. Uh, yeah, you can buy Mein Kampf on uh, Amazon, but you, you can't buy uh, what they call far right uh, people, like leaders that write books when they're just normal people that, that just go right. against the grain. Think not, about it. It's not relevant it. anymore, is he? Well, his legacy is. Yeah. No, what <laughs> I mean is, like they've just uh, they've just made Hitler uh, and what what happened. Like they're just sh shouting it too easy now. Like you're Hitler. Yep. It, but it yep. was what what they went through. I think. Right. I mean, yeah. Well, you can't just forget that. Not at all. Um, that song, I don't know, I don't know that band who that was, but it's kind of weird because their song was musically it was kind of upbeat and happy, but then what he was saying was not. It was the complete reverse. RJ, Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, did you watch the Did you watch the rap battle between Hitler and Darth Vader? Excuse me. Is that something you'd reacted to as well? Yeah. Did you just say Hitler and Darth Vader? I probably haven't dropped that. Yeah, it's it's a it's a channel on YouTube called Epic Rap Battles of History, where they uh they act like characters from from history and they and battle each other shit that would never happen. And it's it's a uh, Adolf Hitler versus Darth Vader in a rap battle. See, I understand. I I I, I kind of get it. Because people are, uh, are fucking begging for that kind of uh, thing at the moment, aren't they? Because all the restrictions on what you can do and what you can say. But still. Yeah. I saw... <laughs> I saw Richard Pryor versus George Carlin, which is... I mean... You know who I like more. Yeah, I think that was uh, Key that played Richard Pryor in that, I think. From Key and Peele. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. And I, I already had a uh, request on the Ruck of Ruck if somebody requested uh, Ronald McDonald versus Burger King. Right battle. <laughs> 
Yeah, they do. They created some. They, they created some pretty cool shit, but some pretty weird shit too. Aren't they? Aren't they yeah, basically sounds proper weird. Aren't they basically the same? It's one uh, fast food chain versus another fast food chain. No, I wouldn't say they're the same. Uh, McDonald's has definitely killed more people. Um, yeah, but in terms, <laughs> of, in terms of what they're putting out, I no, I, I don't. I don't feel that way either. Just because. Uh, Burger King has been in trouble for using horse meat before, and I and I understand how you feel about that. But the way I look at that is at least it's meat. At McDonald's, we don't know what the fuck we're eating. So. <laughs> well, you do, you do. Actually, they use one hundred percent of the animal. That's the eyeballs, everything. They, yeah, it's exactly. All, it's all in there. So yeah. mixed <laughs> with some soy and some seasoning. Yep. They, they don't throw anything out. And then they well, that's the, that's the reason through I a high pressure press. Yeah, I used to buy rolls of ground turkey because you can get a roll of ground turkey for like a dollar when it's like five bucks for that same one pound of hamburger. And you uh, see how they make the reason it. I, yeah, but the reason I quit buying the ground turkey rolls is I found out that's exactly what they do. They just drop the whole fucking turkey in a fucking thing and it comes out in a tube. Yeah, they extrude it, didn't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just like play though, yeah, bones and all. Just they grind the whole fucking thing up. Boom, where you get? Hardee's is the best one to go eat at. Hardee's, Hardee's, Arby's. Yeah, if you, if anybody that has ever Arby's. seen that roast beef before it's cooked, you would never eat it. Not Arby's. Hardee's well tastes nice, Willie. Huh? H a r d Hardee's. Hardee's. Yeah, that's what I said the first time. It didn't sound like you said Hardee's. No. Yeah, I only ate a Hardee's once up here, and I'll never eat there again because they were dicks. Everything you eat from there out of the deep fryer is rat flavored. <laughs> rat yeah, we went through the drive through at this Hardee's now. We went to Muslim and tried to use coupon. One coupon per, <laughs> per <laughs> visit. And we, we wasn't comprehending what she was saying. I thought she was just saying you could only use one coupon per fucking, you know, item or whatever. Because we had, we had like two or three coupons. And then finally she got through her head. You can only use one fucking coupon, period. You know. And and then it, when the next time you come back, you can use one coupon if you want to. So we uh, then they tried to charge us like fucking almost double. And I was like, hell no, we got up the window. I'm like, nope, I'm not paying that. There's no way in hell that's right. You need to check it over again. I figured it up, you know, in my head what we just ordered. I was like, there ain't no way. And sure enough, they was, they was almost charging us double. And uh, I told them when they gave us our food, was like, that'll be the last time I ever come here. You ain't going to worry about that. That was just ridiculous. Popeye's chicken, on the other hand. As soon as I get a chance to stop there again, I'm stopping there. That's some good shit right there. I don't know why they call it Popeye's. You know, they sell the chicken there, but I've never seen them sell deep fried spinach. They ain't got no fucking spinach, no. They got jalapenos, but they ain't got no spinach. Jalapenos. <laughs> yep, jalapenos. Spider <laughs> baby. Spider baby. baby. Yeah, Dobson type in a merry fucking Christmas. Look at the images. <laughs> no, I was only looking for a picture to put up there. I've got you guys see my thumbnail? Yeah, I got a proper surprise. <laughs> yeah, I saw your you thumbnail. See my thumbnail for this one, for this live stream. Yeah. Santa Claus shitting down the chimney. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't get that. All I just saw. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't notice. Didn't yeah, this picture of Santa Claus sitting on top of the chimney taking a shit. <laughs> I've just rolled one up there as well. 
How'd she know what I was doing? <laughs> oh. Last of the greeny greenery. Got roaches after that too. That used to be uh, my ex used to wake up. She hear the grinder, and it was like an alarm bell. <laughs> I don't think I ever showed you our grinder either, have I? It's, it's all wood. Well, it's not all wood, but the outside's wood. And then it's got like oh, yeah. the like bamboo. nails. Yeah. Bamboo by the look of it, yeah. It's got like nails on it. Maybe. It works pretty, it's, it works pretty decent. Squeaky. <clears throat> yeah, this one gets squeaky. <clears throat> I'll have to scrape it off every once in a while. It gets squeaky because of the resin building up on it. From the Keef. <clears throat> Got me one of them fancy curried things. Mad man, what's up? I wish we did. Wish we did what? Oh, yeah, it's white as fuck here. We got a white Christmas. First time in a long time we got a white Christmas. It was proper snowy. I posted, it on, I posted it on Hillbilly Psycho. It didn't set yesterday, is any problem here. Oh, oh well. yeah. Mm. We didn't get it, a single snowflake here. Yeah, it, it rained just before, so there was no chance. No. Yep. When it uh when it, we started to get precipitation here, it was like fifteen degrees. So uh we had no problem snowing here. <laughs> Chill and he said, Hell yeah. We about to be. Oh, somebody in the basement. All right. I'm I I'll make my picture a bit more Christmassy. Said Santa was in the basement, but ain't nothing there. Sort this out. Got that in under bonnet on plug record. That's what it makes it. Nine two seven. Somebody's trying to come in, but it's not connected. It won't connect, so I can let them in. Frankie. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> the fire baby said, oh, my daughter got me a Bob Ross puzzle piece. Hell yeah. Bob Ross puzzle. Fuck yeah. Bob Ross, the, Bob Ross, the comedian. You what? Bob Ross, the comedian. No, the painter. Maybe I don't know. You don't know Bob Ross, the painter? I don't think so. I don't, not by name. Uh, he was, well, he was, he, I would imagine, actually, after I thought about that, you wouldn't. Um, it would make sense. Because he was on a, a PBS over here, which is our... Uh -huh. uh, educational channels on television, whatever, where Sesame Street and all that shit was. And uh, there was a show on there called Bob Ross, and he could just paint mountains and birds and trees like, I mean, just like nothing. I mean, and he'd show you detail, you know, step by te step, showed you how he painted this, and then he'd get done, and he'd have this just awesome landscape picture. You know, 
watching that when I was younger. It just start off as nothing. Yeah. It'd be doing yeah, it. he just started drawing, drawing these little thin black lines. The next thing you know, it's just a big ass tree. Looks perfect. Oh, the, the, the tree. Yeah, the, the, the well, his, paintings, his paintings were lifelike. Yeah. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, they were awesome. No, it's amazing Speaking how he could create it so quickly. That was the, the thing. Rebel flower. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're going for a lifelike, why not just take a photograph? That's my thinking. <laughs> <coughs> Logical. Although you get pictures now, they're more than lifelike. Oh, oh, oh. There's a real ho ho. <laughs> Hi, Sam is here. That's just, that's just street, the street corner, Santa. Yeah, right up there is a real ho ho ho. Right there. Okay, now I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know he's real. Be careful, uh, Sasha. You don't want to sit on that Santa's lap. You might grab a handful. <laughs> uh, he might like. What are you doing, Mike? Not a lot. You're not Santa. You're a fruit. <laughs> That's just crazy. I would think you'd you'd be resting after all those the living all those presents. Oh booter. I gotta kick him out of team speak. Him and his majestic effort. Look real soft. Thanks. There booter, now you shouldn't squeal. <laughs> Who has a majestic afro? Bob Ross. Talk about Bob Ross. It was it was majestic afro. Maybe I should look him up. They did. As a matter of fact, we was just talking about epic rap battles. They did one there. Uh, Bob Ross and Picasso, I think it was. Oh, After grab okay. bottle. Oh, I recognize him. I, okay, I, I've seen this person. Yeah, I, I, well, I can't say I know him, but I know of him. He he spoke real soft like this. He was off. I see his paintings now. The epic grab bottle is fucking hilarious. <coughs> Um. Do Cheers, Frankie. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. That wasn't half bad. Was it half good at least? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounded good. And I, I didn't know, even hit That's me comparing it to an English accent, so. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> I'm going to get my ass beat so bad if I ever come over there. Merry Christmas, Tink. Whether, whether it's Sasha or, uh, or Frankie's door, I'll show up at first. I'm probably going to be beat up before I get there. 
and be like, what the hell happened? I was like, I tried to talk like you. You told me not to do it. You told me don't even try. Just act like American. I didn't listen. Yeah, but if you hand out some Cadbury chocolates, they'll forgive you. <laughs> Yeah. Can I? Hey, man, y'all got any Cadbury eggs in around here? <laughs> I circus peanuts. You got circus peanuts? <coughs> You'd make your kid in selling Kinder eggs. Get to Kinder eggs over there, wouldn't you? Kinder eggs. What's that? It's the little chocolate eggs of toys <clears throat> banned in America. Oh, the little hazelnut, rolled hazelnut dipped in chocolate thingies. Yeah. Wafer inside of them. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, but they have wafer, got, a, a they toy. Have, they, they have plastic inside them. they got toys, yeah. Oh, no, we don't. We get these too? We tried them once. No, yeah, they're banned because the kids were eating the toys. That little bitty fucking round. Clear thing in, had a ring in one of them. All right, yeah, I got you. That's just weird. They were really sickly. It was just really overly sugar. Um, sickly sweet. Why would you put candy or your toy inside of candy? <laughs> to make it so, creative, so kids can choke on it. Exactly. That's what I did. That's what I hear. Here, eat your chocolate. Choke, bitch, choke. <laughs> it's in a little capsule, though. That's what it is. Yeah, I, know, you know, I remember me and her actually got some. I did have one. I have, did have one of the containers laying around somewhere. On where the hell it's at? Surprise is that if you eat it, you die. <laughs> Got the fat man in the chimney. I love it. Yep. He's taking his shit. He's fat man shit. This shit. Yep. <laughs> it said ending on that link. Links don't expire though. Huh? Oh, yeah, like that picture. Where's the, like the old oh. Jessica Rabbit hair going on? It's not the right way. It changed itself again after I already fixed it once. Or no, I didn't fix it because it wouldn't let me, remember? You said it, did after six it let me post it by itself. It never let oh. me fucking... I ain't gonna be able to say nothing. I was planning on doing a live stream today, but I've got a headache. I'm gonna, I might take some tablets um, and see how it helps. Need some pussy. Hey. Can't be asked with that shit, man. Social distancing, though. Yeah. <laughs> I was social distancing six months before this shit started. <laughs> you need some what, uh, Willie? Uh, see? Well, you ever had that stretched over your head? Yeah. <laughs> Barely, though, because I ripped it open, so Mom called me an asshole, baby, because... I, she, I, they said I pretty much ripped her from her asshole to her belly button. It's like Buddha, you was an asshole, baby. <laughs> you were Irish. I was. I was. Uh, I was ten or nine pounds, ten ounces of corn brute. I made an entrance. That's what happened. Just like Ace, he was an ass. My great nan broke her own pelvis pushing the baby out. And that was without painkillers, just a bit of leather to bite on. That's crazy shit. Oh, hey. <laughs> My hey, baby, hey. baby of uh, 
14 kids, I think he said. Merry he had a sister who weighed 17 pounds and she's born. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too there, Tinker. <laughs> Very merry skunk. Nine, ten, four, four, and twenty-two inches. I was nine, ten, and twenty, and twenty-three inches. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone's partying seriously hard here. What? Somebody's partying seriously hard here. You I was one of out at Windrock in the tag, and somebody shouted. Oh. Someone's like they've got music like proper blaring. Like, yeah, Merry Christmas, you filthy fucking animals. We fucking love you too, you cunts. <laughs> Any excuse? But they got some good eggnog. God knows what they've got, but the fucking proper buzzing. I got some good eggnog, but we ain't got no room to put in. Merry Christmas. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, we're on uh, Dobson's live stream. Hang on, I'll get you the link there, bud. I showed up in a... I showed up in a... Avid's... After I sat down last night, he's like, is that Dobson's channel? Like, yeah, let him, let, him, let him know I'm in our Discord race. <coughs> yeah, I've seen you come in there, but you never come up on panel. We told you to. You well, hell, as soon as I got out. there, he said he was shutting down. Ooh. Um. Yeah, right after he dropped the link and said he was about to shut down. And I can't believe Tinker's in here with that pretty pink robe on again. And she's not hiding her face tonight. No, and no. all right. <laughs> she must be coming to see me. Hey, Choo Choo Gaming. How you doing, Chris? Choo Choo! What's that? What up? What up, Choo Choo? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Can you just buy it? Buy it. So are you going to get here before midnight, Tinker, so I can unwrap my Christmas presents? Um, it's after midnight for me. Well, it's not here yet. <laughs> they have uh, Southern Comfort eggnog. If you had that, that is, what the hell can do with that? They probably did have a <laughs> section there when they went over. I mean, hey, uh, how are you, you doing? doing? I don't know if they sell it pre mixed or not. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I bet you they did. Mm. That was yours and Booters. We know what you two were doing with that present. I bet yeah. you they did enjoy that. Fucking hell. I got Booter a real nice Christmas <laughs> present there, Dobson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I took him over a couple almond nuts that we have a pair. Yeah, right. He didn't give me no nuts. Quit lying. Buddha. My bad, ACC. I thought he actually got you something good. <laughs> yeah, Santa down below there. I thought he at least got you a hooker for the night or something. That's my little brother in real life. No, I had to get him, take him over a couple that way to have a set. Garden Mel, 
Dark. Look, for them smurfs. <coughs> we watched Smurfs Christmas Carol. That was one of the movies we did watch. Uh, we didn't even come close to watching all of our movies, but uh, we watched Smurfs Christmas Carol. And, uh, it was uh, Grouchy Smurf or Grumpy Smurf, whatever it was. And he thought he'd uh, drank some bad <laughs> Smurf Nog. He was drink. He said, I shouldn't have had that second cup of Smurf Nog, he said. And I was thinking, man, I'll bet some Smurf Berry Nog would be some good shit. Yeah, that's what he said, Smurf Berry Nog. Yeah. <coughs> he said, I shouldn't have had that second cup of Smurf Berry Nog. <laughs> Check the cash app, bro. Dark mouth shit. I oh, is it? Yeah, is that the is that the Merry Christmas we got earlier, Gargamel? Been watching Troy today. Troy. Bollocks. Oh. I'm gonna. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Gargamel, huh? That's the. <coughs> See yeah, you gotta keep that. One. I can't yeah, Bengals are trash, I know. But at least they beat the Steelers Monday night. So it's, life is life is all good again. Thank you. Um, I, I, am I not here? No, I'm, I'm still yeah, here. Yeah. Yes, Frankie. Yeah, Frankie went poof. Um, thank you, Gargamel, but um, there's nothing merry about it. Maybe that's why I've got a headache. It could be. Dude, I woke up, man. I woke up rough today, dude. Slept for about fucking 10 hours. Woke up. Just, it was not, it was not a good day. Just didn't want, you know. Just felt like one of those days I should have stayed in bed. Yeah. Um... Scott. After seeing the back of my pickup this morning, I wish I'd have stayed in bed. Yeah, the Bills are doing all right. Dude. Yes, they are. That quarterback's beast. Oh. Um. Who's your favorite quarterback, Tank? I ain't got a fucking clue what you're talking about. <laughs> I think, I I think that's American football terminology, right? Yeah. You're talking to a Yorkshire pudding. I ain't got a fucking clue what you want about, man. Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire. That's what I you said. Can... No, you didn't. You said Yorkshire. Yorkshire. No. I told you, but now you're hearing it from the source. Yeah. I grew, I grew, I grew up on Hornbeam Road, and right, right next to my house on Hornbeam Road, Derbyshire Road came in and hit with with Hornbeam Road, and it was Derbyshire. 
So that's why I'm to have say Yorkshire. You know, the little Yorkshire puppies and them uh, rat terriers when they get it together, they make a real cute says, puppy. Sh. <laughs> it's like sh. Right, Tinker? See the it's like it's the saying sh. You say sh. Well, like I said, the Yorkers and little rat carriers, when they get together, they make a cute puppy. No. Like football, either Gargamel. <coughs> I bet your state's got a couple teams in it. Ohio even has a couple teams in it. I don't know what you mean. Oh, fucking hell. Basketball's really the only sport I ever liked, and Tennis was all right. That's you I won't watch. I, so I used to try to watch the, the I used to try to watch most of March Madness, especially once it got down to like Sweet Sixteen. But uh I haven't even caught that for, for a few years. The only sport I like is horse riding. <laughs> I do like my baseball. No not not for the I don't care about who wins or loses, just for the skill of the game. Yeah. I don't even care who's playing. Just let like, to see That's skills. Cool. You know, it's yeah. about the sport, not the competition. I bet you can shoot some hoops, can't you? I used to play every single day in school. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> every single day. <coughs> Baseball, football, hockey, and football. <laughs> I agree with you there, Gargamel. I like the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> I still haven't seen 42 yet. No, yeah, that's a good one, man. I don't think I'll, you might not fall asleep on that. By the way, that song yesterday I told you was called Close or Closer. It's called Close to You. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi, GLM. Hi. What's up? How are you guys doing? Oh, I got to go check on my, my who race. My who beast. My race to who beats. Good to hear your voice. I didn't know if you could even do this with uh, what's happened to your accounts. Oh, yeah, they played me, huh? That's all right. No worries. I ain't tripping. <laughs> How's your Christmas going, you guys? Not too bad. Yeah. I'm done with Christmas. I'm so tired. Yeah, Did you have a good one, please? Yeah, yeah, Christmas is good. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever had a bad Christmas. To be honest with you, um, yeah, it was good. How about you guys? We're having a Christmas dinner, and we got to spend it with you guys. Nice. Yeah, what are you guys eating? Room. We're making a roast for Christmas. Oh, that sounds good. My roast to beast. We did most of our Christmas stuff yesterday and this morning, and that's I'm done. <laughs> she got a half pork roast, and I was like, fuck it, I cut it in half, put half of the crock pot, and half of it. Oh, hell yeah. Is that your dog in the picture, though? Yeah, that's bushy. Sweet. <laughs> she um she's missing a lot of her teeth, so when she just sits naturally, her tongue will just stick out <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cute. It's really adorable. <laughs> it's difficult to tell in that photo if she's a puppy or not. Oh no, she's not a puppy. She's eight. Oh. She's gonna be an old lady soon. But yeah, she's tiny though. She looks like a puppy. Yeah. How's your Christmas, Sasha? Um, non-existent. 
No. <laughs> yeah. Just Friday. Just chilling. Uh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> no. Uh, yeah. Well, just from my own personal experience, I don't. I don't do Christmas because I don't like how what, what it's turned into. Um. I mean, you know, I think it's for children, and I'm not a child, so. No. I, don't really, I don't really fit the demographic. Alrighty. Yeah. That's just, that's just me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be for kids. No, I mean, well, they're the ones that get excited about it, I think. Uh, am I wrong? I get excited for Christmas. <laughs> Same, I do as well. Yeah. I like Christmas, yeah. Because all the restrictions have not out, really outside that much here, though, have the sashes, to be honest. Say that again? The government restrictions have not really helped out that much here, though, have they, to be fair? Right, yeah. Um, well, that's not... Yeah, of course, but um, well, that's just one side of it out of many... Uh, To people that to people over here though that Christmas is about family. Yeah. It's it's not else out its lightest. We've we've it we've, See the whole we've, world needs to figure out Christmas is about smoking Christmas trees. Well we've oh. been told that we could have five days of spending Christmas with the family and the friends, but then it's been gone from <coughs> five days to one day. See the whole the whole family should get together every year on the twentieth and just smoke out all the way through the twenty fifth. That should be Christmas hot. That should be everybody's Christmas. You guys are forgetting. You guys are all forgetting what Christmas is about. The birth of our Messiah. On, I'd give up on Christmas too, but I got six kids. I don't want too much worry about getting them Christmas stuff. But the seven grandkids got to get them stuff. Mm-hmm. But just remember, GLM, you told me he loves me either way. He does love you. <laughs> you should love him back. <laughs> at, least, way, at, least, at least you respect it. There's a lot of people who don't believe who are just like beyond disrespectful. Uh, and, yeah, and that's that, and that's that's my thing, man. You know, I don't I don't feel like I should have to choose God as long as I don't uh judge someone else for what they believe, you know. There's like I feel like the people who like I'm not go out of their way. Talk shit about God just because you're on here. Mm hmm okay? There's plenty of room for everybody. You know, that's just that's mm -hmm. just stupid. Mm hmm And yeah, there's just too many of those fucking people in the world. There's plenty of hey, people. But it's the same thing when when uh Man, I, I'm hated by so many fucking Christians. It's not even funny, dude. Well, I'd All say if they hate you, then they're not I, Christians. I say I don't believe. They ask me if I believe, and I tell them the fucking honest truth, and I say I don't believe. Oh, you sorry piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> you motherfucker. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, I'll say this. If they talking like that about it, then they are not Christian. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, I know, buddy. They might think they I are, was but definitely not. I know, what, I know what you're supposed to act like. <laughs> hey, Willie, I got some pamphlets yeah. I'll send you in the mail so that you believe. Yeah. Right? I got these pamphlets here. That doesn't seem... Fuck pamphlets? you, half-dead <laughs> motherfucker. That doesn't seem so understanding of them. They should be more accepting. And there is some, and there are some that are understanding, you know, and it's, you know, it's just like fucking cops, you know, there's just, there's bad ones. And, you know, the if way. you're going to fucking judge people, don't go to fucking church every Sunday and, and act like you're, you're, you're high and mighty and, 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 and GLM doesn't do that. You know, you, you don't act that way. You don't act like you're better than me I'm not. because you believe in God. And I don't. But, you know, there, there's churches around here. Every single person in that place, because they go in there every Sunday, and I don't, 
They're better than me, and that's why my life sucks. You know. Well, you don't have to go into a building to have the belief, you know. Exactly. Uh, legit, Christ uh, legit Christians don't shove it down somebody's throat either. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. I'm pretty sure. You know, I, I read, I read that book y'all talk about all the time. I read it. Yeah, and uh, we talk about all the time. Book, it, it, told, it told me in that book that I didn't have to go to church to worship God. It, it told me right in that book that everybody talks about. Well, I can tell you how to get rid of them, Will. Go to, go to a place to worship him. Yeah. Basically, that book said I could be out there to pay like fishing, and I could. <laughs> Well, well ch America church to me too. is like I, I see church as like school. Like it's just like that's where I go to to learn. It's not where Man, I go to pray. School made that kind of funny. Jesus, <laughs> our our kids would actually learn shit. Then we'd have good teachers and everything. Mm. Schools made the fucking money. Churches made. <laughs> yeah, some of them churches yeah. they're out of control. Oh man. Dude, you ain't lying, man. Some of these motherfuckers be banking. <laughs> well, the Bible says that, that that there's gonna be consequences for some of those people, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I can be a little timid today for only twenty thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> For twenty thousand dollars today only, I can make little Timmy walk again. <laughs> That's a freak show. That's not a church. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but why aren't we allowed to shoot things like that? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right, right. Shoot. If God is in charge, we should be able to fucking shoot things like that. Did you say shoot? Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't follow. If, if what what are those called? Uh, the preachers. Or the yeah. preachers. Um, yeah, the thing I was just doing. Where they, they want you to buy them a new yacht and a fuck private jet. Oh, you to, know what that is? Little That's um. Those are um. Pros they're teaching prosperity gospel, which is not in the Bible, but the, a yeah. lot of those preachers would tell yeah. you if you give them money, God's going to bless you even more. So, so you got people yeah. very poor sending them like the last of their money, thinking that they're going to get oh, yeah. more in return because they gave. But the Bible doesn't oh, yeah. say anything about that. Yep, yeah. that's yeah. crazy. I've seen, I've it would take for people like people that. Send, send hundreds of dollars out of their check, mm -hmm. but they only got hundreds of dollars to live mm -hmm. on. You know? Well, I tell you all what, if you guys give me your money, I'll double it for you as I put it in my pocket. I'll double it <laughs> what do you mean when you say shoot? I don't know what you mean. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Go get his Glock. <laughs> yeah. Put a How bullet through it. And I'll give him an ultimatum, though. Yeah, I just, I just walk up and talk to him first. Like you know, you can either you can either just leave these people alone, go back in your limo, get back on your private yacht, get the fuck mm -hmm. on out of here. Right. Or I, mean, I can squeeze the trigger. Oh shit. Whichever. <laughs> I, mean, I mean it can be done for free. I'll be back in a minute. You can do it for free if you can do it for two thousand. You can do it for no money too. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I would volunteer my services to rid the planet. Of things like that. But I'm going to kick out of here, guys. You guys all have a good rest of your Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Okay, bye. Just want to pop in and say hi -ya. I just changed my picture to me again. I thought it was about time I have myself in there. <laughs> there you are. You gonna share that roast with me? Cause I don't have dinner tonight. 
Yeah. It's a, yeah, there should still be some left when you get here. Get on the I bus to, now. I had to figure out dinner. Take a bus. Sleep. You took a bus here, you take like fucking four days. <laughs> I had I actually had a plate of dinner, and I um, downstairs. Um, it's really cold. It's re- so like we eat upstairs, and so my son's dad came and picked him up uh, at one, and so I just like made a plate. I was gonna sit out and eat. I I sat down on the bed. I was gonna eat, and the damn dog came and jumped up on the bed into my plate. I was like, motherfucker, oh, man. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> 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 yeah. She said nothing, but she said Merry Christmas to me. Yeah, right. I've thought right. about I've thought about brutally uh beating my cats before when they did that, <laughs> but I restrained myself. She didn't she didn't I mean she didn't know. It was on the edge of the bed. She was just jumping up. She didn't know that the plate was yeah, there. That's she the thing. Our yeah. cats see the seat. Hey, what's up? Motherfucker, did you just do that? Cats are assholes. <laughs> My cats yes, are assholes. They are. <laughs> yes, they are. they're all evil. <laughs> Every fucking They're all evil. <laughs> they really are. Say hi to Paisley. What I do, right? <laughs> I was fucked up with back. I don't know about uh, that. Ace had, just... had a fucked up Christmas back. They just um, stole, they stole they all just... those they stole all those fish and shit out of his truck. I think cats are just you know always in the moment. They're always in the present. So, yeah, They're, they just got little attitudes and they just do whatever they want. Just double A busy schedule, double A batters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. My headache's gone, so that's good. Sweet. You didn't go like look at lights or anything. Nothing, Sasha. I'm afraid. Well, no, I didn't. Um, especially like uh, um, Marie was saying, this time of year, it's it's uh, it's all the more kind of harder to do. But you know, I haven't got. No, the short answer is no. <sighs> I love going and just like looking at the lights. They have like streets, like like blocks and blocks of houses where every single house is like done up as much as possible. Yeah, I love that. It's so nice. I mean, I used to when I was a child, but that was a while back. Yeah, I love that shit now, man. I always did love looking at Christmas lights. Mm-hmm. They're so pretty. There's a house uh, down the road from us. Looks badass. Actually, I I got a I got a short ass small video while we were going by it in a cab the other day, and uh, I managed to slow it down. I put it on the end of a uh, our uh, white Christmas video. I put on a uh, hillbilly psycho. Mm. You got to send me the link to that because obviously I don't have any links to anybody's channels anymore. <laughs> I had to find. Actually, it. we can drop links now. I saw the video showing. I think you said. Dropping uh, chat here, I saw a video saying you're expecting snow, but now you've got snow, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I I I shot one one uh, video at six o'clock yesterday afternoon. And then I shot another one uh, about 15 minutes after midnight. And, uh, yeah, we definitely got a white Christmas. Been white all day. I hate snow. Still, it's, it's still snowing. And we got we got about three inches out there, and it was snow, still snowing early. I couldn't live in snow. I don't mind visiting. I can't live in it. There's no way. No, it's not a... It's not yeah. a- it was like zero degrees with wind chill, so even on the asphalt, it's sticking to the roads. Hell no. It's temporary. It's, nice. it's temporary. Well, depending on where. Oh, yeah. I just can't drive yeah. in it. I would just crash all the time. 
<laughs> the one the one accident I've had was because of snow. Uh. Um, my last accident was because of the rain. Yep. Fuck weather. Hmm. <laughs> but that's one thing about staying in Ohio. See, we ain't got to worry about tsunamis and earthquakes, or or uh, and, and then the other the other case, they got the fucking tornadoes or the hurricanes. We get the we get the back the back tail of the hurricane winds every now and then. Mm-hmm. We ain't got to worry about the shit. Mm-hmm. If a tsunami hits Ohio, you're all fucked in what? So. Shit. <laughs> hey, BLM, yeah. that link I just dropped in the chat. That's the one for Hillbilly Second. Okay, let me see if I could do it from in. I'm on my phone. Mm. Yeah, let me know if you can't do it from there and I'll send it to you on Instagram. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm back. I, I, I'm back on Instagram again too. I fucking finally broke down and started back up the other day. I'm on there, but I can't do anything on there because I I don't have a phone. But I'm on there. I just all I can Fuck do is yourself. follow people. My fishing pole. There, many like it, but this one is mine. Damn mm-hmm. straight. Without me, my fishing pole is nothing. Without my fishing pole, I am nothing. Willie really say he's only got three inches. <laughs> yep, I only got three inches, but it's still it's still growing. He's a grower, not a shower. He's just here to get the job done. <laughs> Robert Brian, what's up? GLM said, "Poof." Probably trying to watch your video. Probably. I think she doesn't have any active YouTube accounts now. Well, well, maybe maybe that's not true because she came in here. Yeah, that's true. And when uh, when I clicked on her, it 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 said "God loves me" account. Yeah, because it tells me the account at the top of the thing. No matter what you got putting on, you got on your name. It tells me who it is. Which I think that's pretty cool. It does. I, 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 I only see the name. Well, uh, I, it might just be on the phone too. I don't know, but yeah, when somebody pops up in the basement, and uh, I got to hit guest guest to open the basement up, you know, and then it, I'll see a picture, and then I'll see whatever name you have in your little box there. But then when I tap it, and it pops up the menu to add to panel or whatever. Okay. It at the very at the very top of that box, it tells me exactly who it is. Maybe it's when always been. It said, it said "sexy monkey" with your picture and everything. Maybe it's always been there, but I just never noticed it. I don't know. I don't think it's always been there. I think it just last, like maybe the last week. I think I've noticed it. Oh well, the next time it I might be on, maybe new. I'll see it. Yeah, um, I, th- I think it might be something new. This drilling rig, y'all have a good Christmas. It's been all right, Robert. Yeah, I mean, depressing as shit early, but uh, it got a little better. Smell the roast cooking now. Carbon milk forever. <laughs> Watch the Salty Cracker channel. Nope. Never heard of it. Salty Cracker. I got a Super Cracker shirt. That's a bottleneck. Funny as fuck. Hell yeah. Salty Cracker Channel. 
I may have heard that before. I probably didn't realize that's what they were talking about. D forty. Brian D forty. Huh? Is that what he's calling himself now? I don't know. You hear him sound like he was chopping? I thought maybe he was eating something. And then it sounded like he just snorted. Like he was just chopping him a line up. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know um, Gar Gargamel? I recognize yeah. the, I recognize that picture, but not the name. Yeah, he's the bad guy off Smurfs. No, but uh, okay, I don't know. He, <laughs> the Smurf doesn't have a YouTube account, right? But <laughs> no, it's an old cartoon. No, I know what the Smurfs is. I used to watch it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, do I know the person who has that channel? Oh, yeah, you know who it is. That's why I asked you, man. What? <laughs> Get outdoors, man. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I... they were actually up here on panel with us. Who are the Smurfs? No, Gargamel was up here on panel with us. Just now, or was that Santa? No, the one you know well. The one I know well. Well, I could say that about a lot of people. Well, I mean, the one that was just up here with us that you know pretty well. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, right. Okay, I that was Gargamel. <laughs> See, okay, I did not know that. Um, I did not know that because you know it's it's weird to me that one person would have several different accounts, but or, or names. Right. Them, I just see. Dude, one, I have uh, fourteen right now. Fourteen. <laughs> I have fourteen wow. accounts. Yeah. John Steele has four. I thought four was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought seven was a lot, and I've already doubled. Yeah, Santa was ACC. I just created this. It's 
Santa was ACC. ACC. ACC game. Who one that said that? Oh, all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna What was you eating right there? What does what? You remember what you were eating in that picture? Uh I'm eating a chalk ice. Do you call it a chalk ice? Chalk ice. Chocolate ice cream. It's ice cream on a stick. I don't know what you call it. Fudge sickle? It's um no, it's just ice cream with a chocolate coating. Uh Oh, oh yeah, the ice cream bar. Yeah, that's what we go. So it cracks when you bite into it, you know. Yeah, oh, ice cream bar. I think we that, have these ones over here now called Magnums. Oh my goodness! That particular one I'm eating might be raspberry. I'm not sure. Yeah, it kind of looks like a raspberry Magnum, actually. No raspberry, not raspberry. White ice cream inside. <laughs> uh, I said raspberry, not raspberry. Raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> we got berries over here, buddy. <laughs> we have them too here. We have berries. B E R R I E S. Well, we berries. do too. It's, it's just weird when you have when you say raspberry. That's raspberries. Cool. Raspberries. We got we got raspberries, mulberries, blackberries. <laughs> Lollipop. Lollipop, yeah. Lollipop, lollipop, la la. Yeah, blueberry. I forgot about the blueberries. Um, um, strawberries. Uh, strawberries. Strawberries. Halleberry. Halleberry. <laughs> yeah, see? You say Halleberry, but not blueberry. See? <laughs> You see my point? <laughs> oh goodness! I just never pronounce it that that clearly. That it's um. Whatever you said, I can't remember now. <laughs> Raspberry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got raspberries, mulberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. Gonna go get food. I'll be back. <laughs> Hells yeah. You gonna get some Smurfs, Gargamel? I think I don't need to take these tablets. I took out my, I got two tablets in my hand, but I don't need them now. Being on here has cured my headache. Made it worse. Cured it. Oh, it's cured it. Oh, I didn't know if you said cured or cued. Because cued means the complete opposite. I don't know why well, they would make two words like that, you know, that sound that much alike and mean complete opposite fucking things. But, you know, it's just because the English, English language is just fucking complicated. That's why. <laughs> Isn't there like 10 letters in the Chinese alphabet or some shit? I don't know about that, but I do know that there's there's 26 letters in the 
English alphabet. There's there's twenty in the Welsh alphabet, and yet they've got more words. So with with fewer letters, they've got more words. That's weird. And they put L's in everything. Everything's got an L in it. <laughs> At least five. <laughs> That's like we was talking about the other day. What what was it? Everything ends with an A. Sound like R. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything ends in A. Sound like R when, when uh, certain areas say it. Such as. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. Is a good uh, example. Somebody's name. Hey, look who's here. When they say I'm back, they say back. Lewis! Yeah, like like Becca, for instance. Uh, in, in certain areas in uh, the UK, every time they would say Becca, it would sound like they were saying Becker. Becker. It would sound like an R at the end of... They don't actually write it that way, that you know, but it sounds like it when they say it. I gotta get checked my meat. <laughs> That's what she said. You don't want to do that on camera. <laughs> it's you not that kind of string. You know what I've just done because Lewis has come in? I've just found a picture of a belly button. Did you really? Yeah, I just found one. I just, I thought, oh, I'm sure I've got someone. I've found one. I'm sure you'd like to see it too. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Hang on, give me a second to do this. Is that a, that's a, did your cat ever stop doing that? That sounds, that sounds bad. Yeah, I'd sense it. He still does, he's still doing it off and on. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, here's a belly button for Lewis. It's a nice one, too. <laughs> Sasha and Lewis, the nice belly button. Oh, it's an outie. An outie belly button. Yeah. You got an outie? Oh, I drive an outie. See you, belly bye. Got the 
blueberries. What about green berries? Green berries. The fuck? Yeah, he said LOL. Like he being he being funny. <laughs> I don't want any damn green berries. There's a lot of wild red berries I don't want a part of either. Oh, here's another nice belly button. I <laughs> I just found another one. Um, Is your belly button loose? I hope you like it. It's the quickest one I could find. See belly button. He's definitely not a one belly button man. I could add two more belly buttons either side of her. <laughs> Let me do that. Um, So how you been, Lewis? You getting belly button for Christmas? <laughs> okay, I need a third belly button now. That's two. Does he care whose belly button it is, or he doesn't give a rat's ass? He's not picky. He just wants to see a belly button. He likes my belly button. I'm trying to find a nice one. Oh, that's a beauty. Um,
didn't realize I actually had the fucking sweet potato looks like a dick. <laughs> Balls my I've just updated the picture that you're looking at, but you don't see the updates. That's weird. Uh, I'm not sure why. Unless I'm on screen phrase or something. No, how do I? I can't. It's. It's. Uh, something just flashed. I need to. I need to turn it off and on again. Is what I need to do. I need to. I'll delete this picture and I'll bring it back. If I add it again, now there's three belly buttons. This should make him really happy. <laughs> <laughs> if I can find it. There it is. Well, she said. Check this out. There you go. <laughs> belly button on belly button on belly button. Belly button. Don't ask me how I was able to find those so quickly. What does he think? I don't know. He answers about like not about this. Oh. You know how that goes. Yeah, I talk to Lewis all the time. Lewis don't talk to me all the time. Like three times he says something he said something besides uh belly button. Those were those were rare occasions. Yeah, I remember once he said see something else kind of belly button. Yeah. One time uh it was all it was all girls up on the panel, Marie and like three or four other girls, at least two or three. And uh he came in and said hello ladies or something like that. That yeah. freaked everybody out right there. It was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So who are you? What have you done with Lewis? Like uh, like Groot in, in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You can only say, I am Groot. I am Groot. Yep. Pretty much. That's not Rihanna. That's surprisingly not Rihanna. None of those none of those women are Rihanna. I'm peeling my dick. <laughs> he just told you not to check your meat on live, and now you're telling him you're peeling your dick. See, I just realized that this sweet potato that I'm peeling. Yeah. Like balls and all. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cold. I 
I found an Asian belly button, but I went with um didn't pick her. You didn't pick her? <laughs> wow, it's really cold. I gotta I gotta put some more layers on. That's what she said. You're doing something wrong. We're below freezing over here. Probably way below freezing since it was zero wind chill factor early. <laughs> I'm leaving for Mars in a few hours. And you show me that. Lewis came in demanding belly buttons. So those are for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving for mass in a couple hours. <laughs> Show me that. Well, just put it out of your mind. Put it out of your mind. You never, you never saw it. No, that's way better to think about mass oh, than yeah, mass. The, the midnight mass. Yep, that's yeah. way better than what, what he's actually had to have to deal with. Personally, I like the one on the left. That's uh, I know who she is. <laughs> Oh, so you never did you even make it to uh when Tara had a girlfriend on uh True Blood? If that was past season two, then no. Yeah, it was way past season two. Getting a, you said you didn't even finish season two. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably season five or so. Uh, Tara moved uh, moved to uh, uh, New Orleans mm -hmm. and uh, gets a girlfriend and becomes an MMA fighter. She becomes an MAA fighter. That that, <laughs> that that seems to come from nowhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know the actor who played um uh what was his name? The the chef who worked in the in the uh Lafayette. Yeah. I don't know whether you know this or not, but he died in twenty seventeen. Yeah, just uh, do, have you ever looked up cause of death? It said uh, heart uh, heart failure due to uh, alcoholism. He was trying to stop drinking on his own, and it said uh, he died of heart failure because of. No, I never, I never looked into it. Um, that's sad. Yeah, he, said he was, said he was a real bad alcoholic, and and he was trying to stop drinking on his own, and somehow that uh, led to heart failure. They said. And he, he wasn't, it was pretty young, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. And, and there was so many times he was the best part of, of the show, man. Yeah, he had charisma. Yeah. I saw him in one film, which only True Blood in one film. It was a good film called The Soloist. He was in that. Huh. See belly button. I've given you three. Forget me running. Oh, you mean fuck me running? Where you been, Jeffrey? <clears throat> Merry you know, Christmas. You know Ving Rames? Yeah. The actor uh, Ving Rames. I think he sounds just like Ving Rames. <coughs> Love you. Yeah, I like Ving Rings. 
if you can imagine, if you can remember his voice, uh, Lafayette sounded a lot like him to me. Yeah. Actually, I mean, yeah. I spoke about him in my Chadwick Boseman film because the uh, the um, the James Brown story film. Well, uh, Nelson Ellis, that's Lafayette's name. He played his kind of best friend in that film. Um, Four thumbs up, zero thumbs down. Oh, yeah. I'll take it every day. Yeah, haters are slipping on Christmas. Maybe I should just leave that picture up there for Lewis, right? Should I yeah. not, not turn I'll my keep camera on? Yeah, we'll not, just leave it up, not turn my camera on. I'm going to put the heating on override so it comes on now. I recently discovered the belly button on the right. She's new to me. <laughs> That's the one that had my attention, to be honest. <laughs> I wasn't looking at her belly button. <laughs> kind of remind me of Terry a little bit. Um, Terry's got nicer eyes. I think. Yeah. Should have seen her when she was possessed by the main act. I will. You know, I'll go back to the series at some stage. Um, it's just... I started watching Gotham. I saw season one and two, and there's five of them, and I haven't got into season three yet. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'll start it again, but I, I have all five seasons. When you watch a series, do you ever stop and just not continue it? Uh, not usually, no. But, really, uh, really but, I mean, we don't have any. That, that's the biggest series we have, dude, by far. Well, I don't know. I guess that's probably the same. Well, yeah, big. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest series. You mean but the like if we start if we watch the first Harry Potter, we're gonna watch all the Harry Potter. If we watch the first uh, Expendables, we're gonna watch all the Expendables. If we watch the first Avengers, we're gonna watch all the Avengers. Right. We watch when the first Blade. You... Watch the first Man in Black. And yeah, we, yeah, we we finished the, the the thing, but but actual. A big series like that is the the only one we have is True Blood. You We're mean still the same way with it. I just love mean, that. You mean it's the longest running one? Uh yeah, yeah. It definitely takes the longest to, to cover that because that's seven seasons. We you know yeah, several but, hours per season. Well, I mean, um, they do thirteen episodes a series. Uh, if it's if it's sort of you know, network TV, they'll, they'll do 25 episodes a season. So there might be fewer of them, but there's more episodes in a season. Yeah. So it still covers more time. Um, that's one of the reasons I I was kind of reluctant to get into it, because it's 25 episodes in, a, in one series. You know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to commit to. Right. 
In the UK, they only ever do six episodes in a show. Wow. At most. Oh, that's a nice belly button. I reward.
That's a new belly button. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hell, it says there's only three people left in here now. What up, Jeffrey? Yeah, I think Lewis done split on us. All that work for nothing. Right? I just gave you a brand new belly button. I thought that was your arm for a second. That's what she <laughs> said. Ah. <laughs> 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 <sighs> that's what's up. Jeffrey said, what's up? He said, don't you guess what's up? Freezing. Oh, no. Come on over here and you'll see you freezing, buddy. Number 42. Oh, nice, man. What's Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Oh yeah, bad boys. Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's just food. I don't know what you talking about. Yeah, it's just a sweet tater. Big, thick, juicy sweet tater. <laughs> Big, hard, thick, juicy sweet tater. <laughs> Damn. Was you live? Hell yeah, man. You have a good life? Mom, mom was pretty good. Slowed way down now. I've seen the three people in here. I don't know if uh, I ran them off or if they just had shit to do. I'm sitting here skinning my dick. <laughs> That sounds painful. Right? Mm -hmm. I see number 42 is two hours and eight minutes long. Yeah. Maybe I could, maybe I could watch that and stay awake. Yeah, I think you'll be able to stay awake for that one. You didn't have good luck. Damn, that sucks, man. It's hotter than fucking here, Jeffrey, because the oven's on. Ace didn't have a good Christmas either. I think you probably know Ace catfishing. Paul, he uh, he got all his shit jacked. Stole right out of the back of his truck. All his fishing poles, tackle box. Oh, so someone broke into his vehicle. Yeah, yeah, he had everything in the back of his pickup truck. So he's not sure if they got him when he went shopping uh, or if they got him at the house. But either way, they got everything. 
Well, that's what we are. We're at 13 degrees and it feels like negative three with the wind chill. Did a real review and a little catfish talk show. Hell yeah. Why wasn't it good? Just nobody showed up or nobody wanted to talk. Or real wasn't good or. The hookers show up and say they wanted more money. I've had that shit happen. I hate that bullshit. So bitch, we agreed on the phone. Found a new channel that is my in my southern diggings. I think he would let me set up a cabin and do some digging in the area. Hell yeah. Damn. I've had them days, brother. I've had them days. I got four in here right now. But I did have like twelve earlier, but Still, man, I, I don't, I don't get nothing over above twelve, sixteen most of the time. Sixteen's a good day for me. Hell, I'm monetized. I got fourteen hundred and six subs or some shit like that. Changed it up again. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall. See how, see if that roast in heaven <clears throat> looks like it's brown enough to be taken out. It was pretty well done when I checked last time. I was just trying to let it brown and talk some more. You're take it out. Well, if you're already in there, I can't get in there and do that. Leave everybody in here. What a shit. That's just rude. You had, you've had thirty? Hell yeah. I've had, I, I've had, uh, I've had in the thirties, uh, once or twice back in the day. That's before everybody turned on me for, uh. You know, smoking and cussing and all that bunch of shit. That's just very superficial. If they can't see your good heart and, you know, look oh, beyond, yes. you, look beyond yes. you. Yeah, I'm just, I, I just pretty much, uh, I just warn the new guys nowadays, just don't, don't smoke weed on your fucking live stream. If you want the fishing, all the fishing, all the fishing guys, if you want all of them to keep following you, don't smoke weed and don't cuss too much. Because what fishermen have got something against weed? <laughs> a lot of them do, I guess. Well, and then and then I had a problem where some of them uh, was that some of them they let their their small kids uh, YouTube on their account, and then their their little four, five, six year old kids sitting there watching me smoke join on my live stream. Well, that's not my fault either, you know, because you didn't set up another account and uh, make it where he couldn't. I mean, you're supposed to be 13 to be on YouTube. So if you're 13 years old, then you're old enough to know what the hell's going on, you know. Okay, but I, I think, it's just my opinion, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with seeing you smoking a joint. You're not doing, you're not behaving violently or you know you're not right. misbehaving in any way quote maybe, they'd like me better. maybe they would maybe they'd like me better if i did bath salts <laughs> yeah paul said these little ladies need to be thicker ain't no junk in the trunk 
Um, well, you're seeing them from the front. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, it's about the belly button with Lewis, anyway. Yeah, it was all about the belly button for Lewis. And he done, he done left on us, too. He comes in and asks for belly buttons. We give him belly buttons, and he leaves. He's Jesus. Probably mad because I didn't, didn't lift my shirt up for him. Well, I've also found out, because I still have some friends, some good friends in the fishing community. Uh, I have found out some of them, Sasha, quit watching me because of where I, I used to live stream with the shirt off all the time. Some of them watch you because you used to do that. Some of them quit watching me because I because I was going without a shirt, so they, they did come back because I didn't wear a shirt. I mean, I don't want to say to that. <laughs> that <laughs> that's, uh, I just think that's quite surface level. So you're not that's wearing, a top. you're not wearing a top. So that's not. Yeah. What of it? So what's what of it? Well, that was part of my fucking trademark for a while. You're not, <laughs> you know? you're not, you're not disrespecting anybody. I didn't feel like I was, but apparently they felt disrespected by it. I don't know how you could be. I don't know how that could be disrespectful. Right. I mean, that by itself? No. But, yeah, I found out through through some good friends that uh, that's what he'd been told by some people that uh, because where I didn't wear a shirt and, uh, and smoking cigarettes and then smoking and I told him, I said, well, I, I started turning the camera off when I smoked and it still didn't matter. I've been wearing a shirt and it still didn't matter. So they're, they're just going to, they, they just found a reason to not come to my fucking streams, all it was. Hmm, but that's a shallow reason, I think. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, you're a very relaxed person and. Not wearing a top goes along with that, I think. You would think. And hell, I went fishing a few times, and it was just hotter than hell. I, you know, I'm fat boy, man. When it's when it's 100 degrees, I take my shirt off. You know, and uh, I'm I'm assuming they didn't like that either, because the ones I'm pretty sure he was talking about, he didn't tell me who said it or nothing like that. You know. Because he knows how I react to that, but he's uh, the way he the way he told me. Um, I'm figuring that they were even at my live streams when I was out fishing, doing what they the, what they watched me for. But because I didn't have a shirt on because it was 100 degrees, then they quit watching me. What's the problem with not wearing a top, especially in the heat? It makes sense to me. Yeah, me I too. Mean, That's some bowling ball 16 pounders for tatas. <laughs> Jeffrey telling Paul he would like to see the senior to come in the shop yesterday. 16 pound tatas. That's a good way to die, I guess. Suffocating in 32 pounds of titties. <laughs> Put that shit on my head, Stan. <laughs> I'm sure Megan the Stallion said something about that once. She did in a video. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she did. She definitely <laughs> did. I remember. Yeah, I remember what she was. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You're so funny. Who's funny, Nightbot? Answer me. 
You can't say you didn't hear me. You're here. I'm here. I think he's just high all the time or something. Seems like he's high and horny. Some of the things yep. he says. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'd bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> My milk check brings up most of the yard. What did you say while you're down there? Yep. While you're down there, close your eyes and open your mouth. <laughs> And for the love of God, would someone please French kiss my asshole? Got a feeling there's a bunch of people that live tonight it's probably why my numbers say low plus i've been boring shit tonight that ain't helping no. um john Steele did a live stream yesterday and i oh, yeah. uh, but once again, that stopped me going live. I was going to go live, but he went live. Um, <clears throat> but he did a three-hour live stream. Everything he said in the first two hours, because he spoke for two hours before anybody else came on. I mean, every single thing he said, I agree with 100%. Um, we're, we're, him, me, me, me and him, we're, we're very like-minded. Gargamel full. What Gargamel have? Smurfs? D, what's up? Oh, too full? Only thing, Jack, in the crack, all I feel is shame. <laughs> I'm going to go to YouTube right now and check some. Uh... I just typed in Gargamel on on YouTube, and I yep. don't I don't think there's a channel with that name, is there? It just brings up loads of Smurf videos. <coughs> Smurfette episodo completo. Oh, Smurfs. Obviously Spanish. Oh, German Smurfs. Three orders of tacos, seven poppers, and a chocolate shake. Hell yeah, Jeremy. 
60 minutes of smurfs. i found a video called 60 minutes of smurfs loves love compilation <laughs> nifty but there's no channel i see oh, yeah. It won't let me do. I, I typed in FK two, three times, and it won't fucking let Nightbot do it. And it will not let me say sexy. But I did put sexy Smurfs, and it still didn't uh, trigger Nightbot. Fucking YouTube blocking shit. This me the fuck off. Have to say every fucking thing proper from fucking one of these days. A proper uh, stuck in a wanker and a poop sheet. I wanked it good and proper. No, Gargamel, small trolls are nasty. You're nice. I said, I'm a troll, bro. <laughs> trolls aren't nice like you. <laughs> if you're right, a troll. You you can't be nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. She said, I'm a sweet troll. But I can do some. <laughs> yeah, we can when we need to be. Yeah, well, but, they do. but they deserve it. D said, not much, just having a fucking Christmas. He said, I hate family so bad. They left me when I was 18 months old, and now they left me again. I got, a, I got a comment the other day on a video. Someone just said, said to me, I hate people like you. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay. No, we've had people say that. We're... Said, I hate people like you. Have a nice day. <laughs>
How are you doing, Jacob? He said, yep, it's so great to have no family. My adoptive family treated me like a show pony, and so goes why I have attachment disorder. And Red Warrior said, I saw a pig in the cop car today. And guess what he said to me? These nuts got him. What? These nuts got him. <laughs> you mean you saw a, a pig, as in the animal, in the back seat of a cop car? No, he's talking about an actual cop. Oh. Oh, because that would have been maybe... Ironic, I don't know. <laughs> when you said pig, I thought you meant actually a pig. I wonder how they that came about, that they got known as pigs, because, you know, pigs are very intelligent animals. They get a bad rap, but pigs are intelligent creatures. Yeah, they are. George Clooney has a pet pig. He walks it like a dog on a lead. Or he used to. You're all right, Dee. No, you're Thank fine. You Gargamel blocked your link, Sasha. Oh, you are? Okay, well, um, I've got the... I've still got the channel open, so if I... It should show up now. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see it. I just see Smurf related videos. Maybe it's low down in the list. Um, it 
Yeah, she put her link in the chat, so I went over there and made sure I subscribed. <laughs> link. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. They do it that way. I can't click the link, but I can copy and paste the link. Does that mean you've now got content? Red Warrior said the gangsters used to call cops pigs so he don't know where they got it from. Okay. Subscribed. Your bell is on. Thumbs up. Thanks. The gangsters used to call the cops pigs, so I don't know where they got it from. Melts and weird. We all call Aussie outlaw pig around these parts. <laughs> yeah, but you know, rats have a bad connotations as well. A lot of animals do, but I think that's unfair. <coughs> Animals are delicious. <laughs> um, he said rats are smart as hell. Pigs are amazing at sniffing out the life subsurface. Low life, but are filthy animals by nature. The life subsurface. Um, so pigs are a good judge of character. I don't know what that means exactly. Yeah, kind of. The garden mill said, I just ate some cow mixed with pig. I don't like it when people say, uh, you know, things like, you know, I wouldn't even do that to a dog, meaning that would be the lowest of the low. Um, right. Or compare people to a dog. And it's never in a good way, but dogs are loyal uh, to a fault. Yeah. You no. Know? Dogs are very smart animals, especially when they're trained right. Remember in uh, From Dust Till Dawn, Danny Trejo says, lonely dog, meaning, you know, the worst of the worst. But personally, I love dogs. So that always sounds weird to me to hear that. People put dogs down. Dogs are lower than humans. Lower, in what sense lower?
It depends on the person. <laughs> oh, we've had this discussion before, GLM. I think you know my things on this. Everybody isn't equal. Jacob said humans are roaches and viruses, doctor of most noble life forms. So humans ruin everything. Yep, GLM is awesome. You've never been lied to by an animal. The dog's never lied to you or stabbed you in the back or been two-faced. <laughs> you pick up a dog off the street, feed him and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. This is the primary difference between man and dog. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, if you show a dog love and care and they'll they'll respect that. Humans can turn on you. <laughs> she says dog jump in your feet when you're about to eat dinner. I'm still so salty about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I said eat Jack and Kirk. All three dogs I've had have bit me, and I and I bit all three back tonight playing. <laughs> yep, me too. Um, when I lived in France, we went to this um market and there was a woman there who was absolutely petrified of dogs she she could not stand dogs she was you know she'd just been raised to fear dogs um and i was there with my dog layla it was the first time she's ever not been scared around a dog she petted her and realized actually dogs are okay they're not all the same yeah.
said all the draw three did do it by accident. Yep, Jacob said the same, but bad behavior needs to be checked as with any living creature. Of course, yeah, but you know, dogs take after their owners. That's how they're raised. Yeah. Like got a hair or something stuck in my eyeball, but I ain't getting that. Saw another one I was running and playing with him. I jumped into his, his air. He caught up with me as he jumped. He jumped up to you and bit me on the ass. <laughs> My brother caught a picture of me in the air with that dog, with that big ass dog chomping my bum. That's <laughs> funny shit. Still got that picture? I'm sure a few people like to see it. <laughs> I'll send her that video on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be like, hey, that was my kid. <laughs> Shit. Dogs are the best. They'll give the full measure. And then some, for those they love, my dogs and I are a till death do we part kind of situation. So I hold them higher than most sentient, sentient creatures. Oh, yeah. I agree with that completely. I mean, what Jacob just said. <clears throat> I figured you would. I mean, from my own personal experience. Yeah.
the reason why doing something to the bone is termed doggedly. We are meant <coughs> we are meant to rule over all the animals. I still think some some <coughs> some humans are dumber than the dumbest animals on the planet. We are meant to. That doesn't mean we do, that just means we're meant to. <laughs> Dog will go after something so hard to kill him. Ever watched? Pit bulls fight, golden retrievers chase ball to the death if it calls for it, right? Gonna get that fucking ball. My dog was created so that I would have a snuggle butt. <laughs> Yeah. That's a picture of me in that picture. Complicated spinach. Didn't think I did. <laughs> the point of what? <coughs> I've reached the point of no return. <laughs> I suppose the point I'm making is you can trust animals. You can't trust all humans. I don't think we can trust most humans. Tools already surpassed in any of the three I dropped the other day. Seven pieces of silver. Okay. <clears throat> We got 1,404 subscribers now. I just got a few more myself, making it 1,100. A nice round number. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Oh, Road Warrior, are you off to mass now? Try to forget about those belly buttons you saw. Yep, think about Rihanna naked underneath her umbrella. Her umbrella's your dick. <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> After we spoke last night, I had to listen to Skin again. <coughs> oh, yeah. Twice. <laughs> running in the eyes of the ruling in the eyes of the Lord not reigning over it's loving and trusting they'll only they'll make good decisions not forcing any behaviors not willing except not willingly accept we were made in God's image. Therefore, we can understand the mind of God to an extent. Animals understand survival. Sometimes I think my survival instinct is my best instinct. <laughs> Trust the animal to make a good decision. They have a point. <clears throat> My cats make a lot of bad decisions. But you know, when you say, I don't want to get too deep, but everybody's idea of God might be different. I mean, some have the same idea, but. See, you just said idea. See? That's what I'm talking I, about. It ends with an A, but you put an R on there. Idea. No, because I said yeah. idea idea of God, so it turned into a R. Oh, I it's see. The, it's the word that followed it, which was of. Oh. Idea, idea of. Okay. But you, did you hear what I said? I mean, I know you heard what I said, but I was saying how people interpret God as different things. Yeah. God can present us in any form. That were the case, there would be no need for a shepherd for sheep. They would be no need for Jesus to be our shepherd. Sure. For a lot of people, money is God. Yeah. You know, in they make, make money off of God. <laughs> in in the John Carpenter film, They Live, it said on the money, this is my God. It's written on the dollar bill. Wow. Negative. My dog needs, needs me to feed it, bathe it, damn near do everything for it. Yep. <laughs> Shepherd doesn't rule, just watches over and adjusts locations. Sometimes he doesn't beat the sheep into line. Narcissist dogs live wild everywhere. <laughs> Are you racist against wild dogs? Ain't no wild dogs around here, but I do know they exist. We got coyotes. I guess you can count those as wild dogs, I guess. They some sneaky fucking mean sons of bitches, what they are.
Yeah, coyote will come out of the woods just to fuck with your dog until they break, make them break their chain. And then when the dog chases them in the woods, there's a pack of fucking 10 of them in there waiting. Plus. Evil course, sons of bitches. Plus, of course, dog backwards is God. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I just like how animals are so unconditionally loving. Right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that, was, that was me from two years ago saying hello. <laughs> Jeffrey's back. How much longer do you think you'll be on here? Um, I think I might go and come back. Yeah. Sasha said, how much longer do you think you'll be on? He think she's going to go eat dinner and come back. He said he thinks he's actually going to shut down here in just a few minutes. That way we can finish. That way we can finish making our Christmas dinner. We'll be eating Christmas dinner about an hour, an hour left of Christmas. Okay. It's going to be about 11 o'clock probably by the time we're about to eat dinner. So if I was to do a live stream in, say, two hours, that would be a good time for people in the U.S.? Yeah. Okay, I think I might do that. You know, in a few days' time, it will be a month since my last one. Damn. I didn't realize it had been so long. Yep, definitely time to make a comeback, huh? Don't call him come back. He's been here for years. Yeah. Dance great. Rocking the field, foot suckers and fins. I listened to that song so much when I was younger. Make it rain down like a monsoon. Listen to his face go boom. What I'm going to talk about, that's a whole other story. But yeah, I might come back in two hours. So 
It's only 10 p.m. for you right now. Yeah. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> That still sounds so cool. So cool. Is my microphone that good that you can hear every small sound? Yeah. I um I don't know where my headphones are, but if I wear my headphones, you can hear me even better. Really? I just don't know where they are. Yeah, because it's closer to my mouth. It's got a microphone on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Warner Brothers, Jeffrey. <laughs> yep, Warner Brothers, Jeffrey. We lay here now, but the uh, drone set up for two hours. Of course, they can come. I can't get to your mouth here. Don't ever compare us to the rest that are all getting sliced and diced. Competition paying the price. I think animals are equal to people on the narcissist side. What would you be? What would be your qualifications to diagnose me? 
believe the Bible, nothing narcissistic about it. Jeffrey, what's The fact that you believe an animal isn't everything about you. Isn't anything without you. The fact that you believe an animal isn't anything without you. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky. Is that a direct quote? She's put it in quotation marks, so yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not a direct quote from God. And all the wild animals, <clears throat> over all the creatures that move along the ground. <laughs> what is the qualifications is my question. <laughs> That's how God rules us. Well, they say God God rules us with a free hand. He just lets us do whatever, make our own fuck ups. That's that's been one of my beefs my entire life was you know, cancer, fucking AIDS, corona, shit that just pops up out of fucking nowhere, killing mankind. And the psychopaths that we've allowed to fucking kill millions of people over the years with their bombs and their greed. And yeah, war, famine. Yeah. I mean, I understand letting us, giving us free, free, free choice, man. But when someone's about to kill a fucking million people and you have an opportunity, just drop them, just fucking drop them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. You know how many lives would have been saved if he just if he if, if if there was a God, you know, no offense to anyone. But you know how many Jews would still be alive if there really was a God and God realized what Hitler was about to do and he's like, Oh no, no, motherfucker, no, not today. You mm. know. <laughs> yeah, save billions by taking no out matter what their belief, because no because because uh, no matter what their belief, they're they're not fucking they're not supposed to be fucking judged, let alone fucking slaughtered like that, you know. <clears throat> and you know, and, and that's just that's just tipping the iceberg, you know. That's just because Hitler was already brought up earlier. Uh, you know, uh, there's many. I have many, many. <laughs> uh, versions of you know, my problem with there. But then, you know, people, we did it to ourselves because, you know, we do have freedom of choice, which is obvious. And we chose to be fucking ruled by man. We chose to allow man to fucking pass stupid ass fucking laws and throw us in jail and fucking make us have to buy a license to hunt and fish. And we, we made those choices too to, to allow ourselves to continue to fucking be slaves to the fucking rich. Okay. Money shouldn't mean shit and money means fucking everything. And it's not it's not the way yeah. and uh and I and I believe if, if there is a God, I, I, I don't believe that he ever uh intended us all to to fucking depend on money for survival. It has, yeah. it has the power that you put on it. <clears throat> right, right. But I, I don't, I don't, if, I don't if, if God is real, I don't think he ever intended us to have to fucking fight for, for fucking money to survive like we do now. Yeah.
if I was God, I'd be, I'd just be fucking shit up. This is all still. I'd be like, oh, no, you guys to go. Oh, yep, yeah, y'all guys to go. Enough of this shit. No. Another hate rally. Stand there and figure out which ones can still be saved and, you know, get them away from the fucking crew and then <laughs> see you. <laughs> you know what I mean? El Satan can have your ass. Also note, it doesn't cover theology. So where's yours? Theology. It's theology. I don't even know what that word means. Theological. Uh, let's see um, over here. Let's see what the Bible says. Touring your online degree. Google, you're hilarious. Went to San Francisco State University and UC Davis and took zero classes online. <laughs> Any other false accusations? I will also note it doesn't cover theology. Fucking jumping on me again, damn it. Still haven't told me what gives you the authority to DX me on me. You study I mean, human thoughts, subconscious or otherwise. Again, if you were so qualified, your dog would just be would be just fine without you. I believe otherwise is self grandizing Man, it's big ass words for this channel. I've never been up here before on a live stream in this room, on camera anyway. Oh, yeah. That's the wanking closet. <laughs> no, that's my my bathroom in the or shower. Room. Oh, that's the wanking closet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but what you said about Hitler, that's a lot of people have said that if you had, if you could, if you had the opportunity to get rid of Hitler, which would mean yeah. none of those people would have died. Would you do it? Would you take that? That's like, that's like, I, uh, you may have heard of this guy too. There was a guy by the name of Saddam Hussein back yeah. in the nineties. Right. You might've heard about him. Well, yeah. We watched our president, George Bush. Shake that motherfucker's hand on national television mm -hmm. when they were making, they were telling us that this dude was like the fucking new hit. They said he murdered his wife and his son. You know, he was just, he was Hitler all over again. Well, why wouldn't you just shoot him in the fucking head? You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. Instead of fucking just meeting up with him on national TV and shaking his fucking hand, and letting him go home and keep killing people. <laughs> yeah, when you say why would supposed to be the big bad United States, the baddest fucking man on the planet, you know, supposed to be. Then what? What? What's the fucking issue when we keep doing shit like that? Um, I said that to myself, Jacob. I said animals take after their owners. Um, I agree because both my cats are assholes. Relax, <laughs> <laughs> just like me. Um, Can this anti-animal bitch get that link? Can you type, Sasha? Or I can do it, probably. I I suppose I can. I'll, let me, I'll, I'll try it. I got it up here. Let's see.
Oh, is that that's a bit uncalled for, Jacob? The link is there, I see it. I was gonna go, but if we're about to have an interesting debate, maybe I'll stay because it's starting to heat up a bit. I don't know. It's a weird link tonight. Did you see that? Looks like it says Ukwamiki. Ukwamisi. Yeah, I saw that. Ukwamisi. It's kind of weird because I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the page on, on StreamYard, but in the top it doesn't. It doesn't have the link that you just pointed out in red. That's not the one I see. It oh, says that's it's the one I see at the top. It says YouTube for me, even though it's StreamYard. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, mine says stream says that exact link at the top there. She oh, sat out because I told her to. <laughs> How could you be angry with that? No, I don't get mad at her. She's so sweet. She's the sweetest. Even when she like jumped in my plate, I was like, ah, damn it. All right, here, here's the meatball. I gotta figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking meatball. I didn't make a fucking meatball right. anyway. <laughs> oh. You leave her outside for a night, she will die. Why are you looking away? It's your time. <laughs> it's your time to shine. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> right. You don't even <laughs> scratch. Big scratch. Aww. Poor, poor puppy. Just poor. You're so poor. Aww. You want to see your teeth? She's missing a bunch of her teeth. Like, hmm. just, <laughs> looks like a little claw. <laughs> Poor puppy. That's right, I'm anti-animal. But your cousin, the cow, is very delicious. Cousin? I think this thing that she's cooked is going to be delicious. Who's cousin? Uh, dog is cousin to cow. <laughs> Sasha's like, I don't think I don't think it works like that. <laughs> I mean, dogs are closer to cows than we are, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all been? What y'all been doing? Well, okay. I'm gonna start cooking dinner. We're gonna eat around midnight. Looks like. Talking about Maybe. fascinating Hitler and Adam Hussein. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all that fun stuff. You know, Saddam Hussein, Hitler. You know. Doing what to Hitler? For the greater good. Doing yeah, what for to the him? Greater good, yeah. If someone just would have fucking just took him out, you know. If the greater power would have just took him out before he did what he did. But it's easy to say that in retrospect, you know. So, okay, so, but listen, listen to this. I, I, I use this as a example fairly often. <laughs> if somebody would have took Hitler out before he would have done anything, or if God would have took him out, we would be saying he, he's um, a cruel God for just killing an innocent person, right? What if he, he just randomly dies of a heart attack like people do every day? 
Right, yeah. Um, People die every day of natural causes. <laughs> this is true. This is true. That guy was a psychopath. Who's your friend in the chat? Close. The online uh, psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finger Hitler could give him a reach around anyway. Right? No, that's what happened, man. Um, Hitler had fucking um, a STD. Fucking, uh, oh, he had a uh, syphilis, didn't he? Syphilis, yeah. Syphilis fucks your mind up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my theory is, my theory always was, Hitler caught syphilis from a Jewish whore, so he decided to take it out on the whole fucking population. Lord. That's what I think. <laughs> wow, that's a stretch. <laughs> I mean, I there's, <laughs> also, there's no way of knowing whether that's that was the case or not. I'm guessing you know, what Hitler, all Hitler did was he tried to finish what they tried to do in fuck World War One. Just tried to come make a comeback. He got a hell of a lot closer than they did in World War One. But yeah, but the problem is he was also a Jew. So how does that work for him? Yeah, right. It makes no sense. And the perfect race with blonde hair and blue eyes, and he had black hair and brown eyes. <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> That's like me. Um, but according to Hitler, award according to Hitler, perfect grace with blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Gio, don't compare yourself to Hitler like that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if I came to you guys like, come on, guys, we're going to get rid of all the black people. You'd be like, uh. Good yeah. <laughs> uh, luck with that. <laughs> Hang on, man. I got to make a phone call real quick. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, he was a good motivational speaker. Credit where credit is due. Oh, so this person also... Yeah, and, and I said that before, dude. He was a fucking genius, man. And I, I'm never going to take that away from him. Dude was a genius, but he was a psychopath. He used his genius for the, for the fucking evil instead of the good you yeah. know infiltrate minds yeah yeah he could he could have went the other way with it and, and went down in history as a fucking hero but that's not what he chose to do oh let's see here okay let's see all these degrees and all this stuff zero in psychology huh so zero qualifications to diagnose me with anything okay that's all i needed to know thank you thank you Did he say zero in psychology? Zero. It, it annoys me. Like, you can't just have a disagreement with somebody on YouTube. They all run to these diagnoses. It's like, how many people have you heard call somebody a narcissist on YouTube or, or they have borderline or it's like everybody's got as a doctor all of a sudden and everybody can diagnose somebody else. It's, it's, it's insane. Yeah, certain words get thrown around. Yeah, it, it's like, what the fuck? just because you disagree with somebody, all of a sudden they've got all these like mental health diagnoses. It's, what the fuck? Just shut up. And Merry Christmas. By the way, I see nothing wrong with having a different opinion, disagreeing, as long as we can, you know, do it respectfully. Sasha. Uh, I'm gonna okay. Sasha loves animals like as like like you you see them as like your equal, right? You see them differently than how I see them. Mm -hmm. At least, at least that much, right? However, right. if you have a dog, you have a cat, right? Yes. Okay. So your cat and my dog, and I have two cats. They get the same. I would say they probably get the same amount of love and attention and and all of that from me that your animal gets from you. I just view them differently. I don't treat animals poorly because I think they aren't the same as us. Yeah, I realize that. Yeah. If anything, I mean, I mean, she, she walked on my dinner. I mean, come on, man. What kind of world are we living in? 
<laughs> but but why did she walk on her dinner? It was to get to you. Yeah, no, it was an accident. It was a total accident. She didn't do it on purpose. She wasn't trying to do anything wrong. It was actually on the edge of the bed, and she was, yeah, she was jumping up to me, and I don't, she didn't know it was on the bed, because she's so tiny. And she jumped right in it, and she jumped back down quick. She was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like I said before, I think animals are always living in the moment. They're always in the right now. Mm -hmm. um, fish, especially. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> well, because they're known for being forgetful, you know? Like Dory. Yeah, exactly. I'm kind of like Dory. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. No, no, no. She was really annoying. You're not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Dory would be super annoying to have as a friend. Like, everything she forgot. Yeah. Poor Marlon. Plus that horrible voice. Um, well, Ellen Degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Poor Dory. I disagree with you disagreeing. <laughs> yeah, that's how that's how Dave just comes in and joins the chat. <laughs> what do we disagree? I can't even remember. Well, whatever it is, he disagrees with it. If you disagree without disagreeing, that means you agree, right? <laughs> that's another way of saying you agree with us. Because that's a double negative. Make, and nothing wrong with disagreeing. Nothing wrong with, I mean, try not to argue, but nothing wrong with arguing. But don't start like tossing out. It's just, it's a, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand it. Yeah, nothing wrong with arguing. Arguing is just having a conversation. Right. Um, arguing a point. The That's one guy, I'm... the one guy, um, Every woman who disagrees with him or like has an argument with him, he he calls them borderlines and he does videos about him being bored. It's like, but but you you're you just do YouTube. You're not how do you how do you come to these conclusions just based on you Googling what you think that means and coming up with like it's it's crazy. Are you talking about one person in particular when you say that? Yeah, just this one YouTuber. I mean, not anyone here right now, but it, like it's just, it just drives me insane. Like, I'm not even qualified to diagnose somebody with anything. Yeah, people do that very quickly. They're very quick to. Mm -hmm. And I and I work in the field. It's but it's like <laughs> it's annoying. I self-diagnose myself all the time. That's different. <laughs> and I self-medicate too. There you go. <laughs> we need to do another wine stream soon. <coughs> As hell. Hey, in an hour it's going to be four twenty. Uh oh. Hell yeah. Fifty-eight minutes actually. Well, yeah, approximately. <laughs> <laughs> Did I start on time tonight? What time? Say three twenty-two. Is it three twenty-two time? Yes, it is. It really is. You're a couple <laughs> of couple of off. You're you're. It's three hours twenty-two minutes fifty-seven seconds. You're you're just a couple of seconds off. But yes, <laughs> still within that one minute. So that's pretty good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mhm. I was dead on it yesterday. What time? Because where he's five hours ahead of me. What? What time are you trying to start? Set. Well, I started at seven here, which was four your time, but mm -hmm. it was eleven his time. Wow, you you got quite a big time difference between yourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's out of the West Coast. She's three yeah, hours she's behind three me. Hours behind us. So she's uh eight hours behind you. 
we're like one of the only countries that have like such big time differences within the country, aren't we? Because <laughs> we're fucking massive. It's interesting. Like, what's another like big country? Like, does Russia have those t- those like three hour time differences within the country? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. What about India? I, I don't know. China. And then we got and then we got Arizona here in the states. They don't uh, acknowledge the fucking time change. So they're never they never spring forward and so they're always a fucking hour different when it when the rest of us change the time. <laughs> they're like, nah, we just ain't gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, they just don't do it in Arizona. They're like, no, fuck you. So <laughs> every so often they're one hour closer to you, that doesn't that doesn't change because they don't right. change and everybody else changes. Yep. Well, I don't know nobody in Arizona. I do, unfortunately. My troll came from Arizona. Uh oh. <laughs> but that's in the past. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> what was that? Jeff, 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 you're like 30 minutes from me. We we share a state. And we... from mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never yep. seen Lion King something? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Wasn't a fan. Of Lion really? King? I think wow. it's overrated. Sorry, I think it's overrated. That's an excellent movie. What? Right? What? You talking about the movie movie or the cartoon? I what? I no see <clears throat> I have a bit of a problem with Going back to animals again, animals given human qualities, speech, it just. um, But they do talk. We just don't understand. No, they're they're talking. They're talking. They're talking. English. What do they they speak? They have to. They have to translate to English so we can Mm -hmm. understand. Exactly. Yeah, but I. Well, that's a bit of a thing for me. I just. uh, I don't like I don't like Disney as a as a sort of as a rule. Well, I, I hate Disney. I think they're fucking they're Hitler. But I like uh, I like I, Pinocchio. I like Pinocchio. <laughs> I like the Jungle Book. Maybe Alice in Wonderland. I, I love, love Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but the Lion King, not so much. Um, I just don't think it's. I've, man, I've watched the cartoon of Lion King probably 500 times, and I'll probably watch it 500 more before I die. Lion King, that's a that's a dope-ass movie. And Alice in Wonderland. Um, what other one? I like the Little Mermaid a lot when I was little. I don't like it as much now. Yeah. But I yeah. do like the music. I mean, age will change that, yeah. But I've always liked Alice in Wonderland. I've always liked The Lion King. What other ones? Yeah, Disney's fucking straight up. Uh, they're they're a, they're a major problem, but and I agree with that one hundred percent. They always have been, always will be. But I feel like some of their movies that. I think I scared your friend off. Sorry, Davo. Oh, it happens. <laughs> also, Russia has multiple time zones. Also, Jeffrey said. Oh, I've got to go back downstairs. I'm on five percent. <coughs> if I'm going to stay here, I've got to go back downstairs. All right, phone done. Computer. Computer done. Yeah. You've been walking around and holding a laptop this whole time. Yeah, I'm on a laptop because um, this is my. That's why I turned my camera off because I needed to um, go in there. <laughs> the white, the white closet. I wasn't expecting to stay here. Now I'm on five percent, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's now it's more interesting now. <laughs> Fucking the Hound. I don't even remember that movie. I think I, I mean I've seen it. I can't remember. Made you cry, really? 
My favorite has to be Boone. Team, not Fox the Hound one. Y'all remember? I think my favorite, my favorite has to be Pinocchio. Because hmm. it was. Why the hell they have fourteen? Pinocchio is a good movie. Yeah, and it was a kind of um analogy for life, you know. We got Fox and Hound too, so if we killed one of them. Not Although I I, mean, I collect puppets comedy. and I feel like it's disrespectful to puppets to give them human qualities like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a puppet sympathizer. Connoisseur. Sasha, I'm just joking. <laughs> But it was his wish. He wanted to be a real boy. I want to be a real boy. <laughs> right. I've got a video of me dancing to that singing. I've got no strings. I'm in the outfit and everything. <laughs> when I, was about I, six. I like Pinocchio and Shrek. They make him look all crazy. <laughs> Do you remember that? They make all those like fairy tale creatures look insane. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Funny. Now I've got one of those Lion King songs stuck in my head, and I don't like it. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> that's in my head. Um, he said, oh, I don't like it. I, I think I just realized why I don't like that. You know why? Um, because um, Elton John did the music. I have a problem with him. Everybody look Can at you feel the love tonight? Don't I... let your sun go down on me. <laughs> Sasha, I think you just got to just have a drink or a smoke and just enjoy some Disney, man. Don't even think about it. Just be like, this This is good stuff. Just enjoy. Well, you know, I just like some more than others. He has never seen Shrek. Yeah. Well, has never seen Shrek? No mm -hmm. way. Oh, Shrek watching, is awesome. Watching I a Disney film stoned, that would be a different experience entirely. Oh, Shrek High is fucking awesome. Shrek's not Disney though. That's a no. It's that's a, a dream world. Yeah. Dream what about um, Lady and the Tramp? I don't know. It's just um, Lady and Tramp's all right. It's just that big. Yeah, that one's okay. I saw Shrek the Musical. It was so funny. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shrek. I still can't do the fucking I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, like fucking Eddie Murphy does. <laughs> I can't do it. What does he say? I don't remember. They're saying I'm a believer from the monkeys. Mm -hmm. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Well, fucking mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy's donkey, right? And mm -hmm. he, he's like, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> and I mean, he just fucking... Just, he just burns I, it up, I, man. I, I actually saw an Eddie Murphy video the other day, and somebody said in the comments, I can't understand how Eddie Murphy can speak so fast and always every every word is he doesn't he doesn't um fall over his words or anything. Right. Yeah, he probably could have been a rapper. Aristocats. Oh, I forgot about Aristocats. That one was okay. That was. Uh, we don't say. West. It's the Aristocats. Mm -hmm. That's pretty different. Bible goes west is my shit, man. <gasps> that's the one. Oh my goodness! I that's the one. I was like, there's another one. I can't. Yes, that was my shit. <laughs> Which one? Yep, I love that one. Mm -hmm. Bible goes west. Mm -hmm. Rescuers. Yeah, you keep telling me about it. that's where fucking Chippendale came from. They the Chippendales Rescue Rangers was a spinoff from that. What what goes so, west? Five goes west. Five old, that's his name. Five old. He's a mouse. Mm -hmm. Filthy his family moved from, moved, from, uh, moved from France or some shit. Well, cat, but he thinks he's the I don't yeah, know. And, and the big cat look kind of looks like Sensi, but he thinks he's a dog. He's cool shit. Yeah, Five Will Goes West is a good one. 
I don't think that was Disney either. There's a long delay between... See, I'm just seeing it now. No. Who... Whatever that name, that film is called, it hasn't shown up in the comments yet. There's a big delay, for me anyway. Uh, I don't think it was in the comments. It was um, uh, Maria said it. Oh, I don't think I know that one. That was a good Sam. one. I really Whoa. like um, Ratatouille. Mm. That was a good one. Rescue the Yeah, that's what she said. Well, that's that's a lot more modern. That's Ratatouille. CGI and, animation. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the ones like I've seen since like <laughs> I had a kid. A kid. Like Despicable Me. If you're talking. Lilo and Stitch is good too. Really if you're like. talking more modern, I think Up is one of the better ones. Sorry, I guess. Oh, I retarded. For shizzle. I remember a long time ago, this sounds strange to say, but Michael Jackson was nearly Pinocchio. So what now? Michael Jackson at one stage was going to play Pinocchio. Oh. Huh. Michael Jackson has a hard time, had a hard time playing Michael Jackson, so. Just... <sighs> I like his music, but that dude was... <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> a lot of pressure. Everybody's got pressure. Shit. I mean, fuck. Stop fucking with me. I think his excuse was that. Stop, Stop, Stop pressure with me. Stop pressure with me. Stop fucking with me. Make me want to scream. Lord. That's my boy, man. That's my fucking boy right there. His excuse was he never had a childhood, so he he made up for it in his adult life. Okay, my mom didn't have a childhood. She isn't sleeping with little boys in her bed that ain't her children. <laughs> That's not like there's a lot of people who have fucked up childhoods. It doesn't mean you like. I I'm not like that as but adult. but. If there is the slightest chance that he was not guilty and that it was produced by our fucking government, the powers that be, because he tried to raise awareness like so many other people that they took out over the years and started shit about him. You know what I'm saying? Because they were singing songs like, all I want to say is that they don't really care about us. But yeah. here's the and thing: he was with, world, worldwide fuck phenomenon. You know what I mean? But here's the thing: he himself admitted that he likes to sleep in a bed with children, and it's charming. And if he didn't do anything to those kids, he still has horrible boundaries and has no like concept of what's appropriate with a child. Which either way, yeah. And, and I'm not, and I'm not trying to make excuses for him. Right. His dad was a total piece of shit. I'm not for defending sure. his behavior either. No, and yeah, and I know that there's a chance he didn't do, and I don't say either way, but like, just the fact that he would see nothing wrong with putting, like, a small child that has no relationship to you in your bed and sleeping, like, he doesn't understand that that's not appropriate. Right. How could you not understand that? Well, I think right. that I think that his mindset was. A child's mindset. He never really Don't fully say, yeah. developed. Sure, and he should stay away from children. Then he shouldn't be around children if he doesn't know appropriate boundaries with children. Well, if he if he feels like a child, he's not gonna he's not gonna do things that a fucking pedophile is gonna do. You know what I'm saying? He comes from a different Just because mindset. he's acting like a child and he has the mindset of a child. That doesn't mean he's gonna be a pedophile. No, but he pedophiles don't have the mindset of a child. They have a mindset of a sick, sick, twisted bastard. Right, but you he also I mean? doesn't have appropriate boundaries. And like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna. And that, yeah, that. I can agree with that. The I kids, agree in, with that, bro. like the kids in my family, 
any any one of them, if they were like having like a sleepover or something with somebody, they're not going to be like, oh, I'm sleeping in bed with you. Like they'll just get a sleeping bag and sleep on the floor. Like even kids have boundaries with one another, and they don't. Yeah, sleep Kevin, in bed Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey has proven that a pedophile can can work and be a pedo all at the same time. For sure, Kevin's okay. Wait, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Really? You don't know about Kevin Spacey no. and young men? No. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, his career is over now. Fuck yeah, what? bro. What? What did he? Yeah, do? he's done. Oh, you haven't heard about this? No. What didn't he do? Right. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, he's, he's, yep. he's, he's been rejected by his family. Yep, Kevin Spacey likes young young boys. Wow. Damn. How long ago was that? Well, it was revealed, what, a couple of years ago, maybe? Maybe not that long ago. Yeah. I, uh, was that I love that yeah, movie seven. It makes you look at American Beauty in a whole other way. That fucking pissed me off, man. I love fucking American Beauty, man. Mm -hmm. Damn. Nasty little freaks. Yep. Same way as fucking Bill Cosby. Fuck that motherfucker, too. Ugh. Would you like to try some pudding? <laughs> and the Jello pudding pops. Oh, that's an echo. I'm in my garage. Sorry. Want to try my new roofy pudding? <laughs> roofy pudding. <laughs> try my roofy pudding pop. Up was funny. Yeah, we we've seen that. I, I did almost forget about that. I was good. And that's never the um the opening twenty minutes were actually really sad. Up. Uh, yeah, because it went from yeah. him as a child to an old man. And then fucking uh uh inside out that fucking movie, dude. It's like they showed the best parts of it in the previews and. It, it, it was, it, was, it was this point. Inside I, out annoys me. I tried right. watching it, but I gave up on it. And my son loved it. I when did that with Life of Pets. I, I couldn't do Life of Pets. I got about five minutes into that movie. I'm like, I can't watch this shit. I was so disappointed in that one. Yeah, it's basically Toy Story, but it's Animal Story. Yeah. Veggie Tales, I think, was another one. I was like, no, can't do it. Which one? I think it was Veggie Tales. It was something like that. It was, the foods in the refrigerators were talking to each other and shit. It was it was just too much. Are you talking? It, about, it was basically the same thing. Like you just said, fucking. You're not, uh, uh, you're not talking about Sausage Party, are you? Yeah, Sausage Party. That one. Yeah. That was not Disney. That was very. Well, it's still horrible. Um, I I know it was kind of sick and twisted, but I liked it. I can I can handle Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. I kind of enjoyed that movie, but Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs was good. See? Yeah. <laughs> and the second one was good too. I still did, I still haven't seen the second one. I want to though. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I, mean, I liked all better, the fucking but, respectable yeah. memes so far. So those cold. Minions, what? I just can't handle those minions. They're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lollipop kids. That's how I feel about the lollipop kids. <laughs> what do you mean lollipop you kids? Minions sitting beside me. Oh, up. You know, up. Um... The ice cream parlor in the movie Up is called yeah. Fenton's, and Fenton's yeah. is like a um, ice cream place here. And so they did like they went like all out for um, when Up premiered, and they were like giving out free ice cream, and it was cool. Hell yeah! 
Mm-hmm. I was in Oakland. That's where MC Hammer's from. <laughs> Is he? Probably <laughs> broadcast yeah. back at too. <laughs> That's where MC Hammer's from. It is. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> where Jose Canseco played baseball. I've never heard somebody, like, when people say, like, oh, this person's from, you know, somewhere from the Bay Area. I've never heard anyone say MC Hammer. That's hella funny. <laughs> where MC Hammer's from. <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> Too legit. <laughs> Too legit to quit. <laughs> I'm broken than shit. <laughs> Just so you know, my dog bullies me, Sasha. Everywhere I go, she follows me. She's always staring me down like she's trying to punk me or something. Trying to take your lunch money. Uh huh. And I feel bullied. No, it's out of love. I tell my son that all the time. <laughs> yeah. like, she's bullying me. She's bullying me. Look at her. And he's just like, she's not bullying you. I'm like, she is. Look at her. Look at her. She's like licking me. Who does that? He's all, a dog does. <laughs> <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship. I hate how much I love you. Have I told you, lady, that I love you? Her job, she was born is the lover, but I had to kill her. <laughs> Guns and fucking roses. I want another dog. Oh, you know what? Um, when I was on John Steele's stream, he he did this trivia game. He started pulling out cards and asking questions. And one of the questions was, what does... I want to get this right. GNR, Guns N' Roses, GNR. Mm -hmm. um, no. Yeah, he said, does it stand for Guns N' Roses? I think there were five choices to make them, but one of them was um, guys, not rectums. Rectums, they near killed. Axel is a rectum, though, so that would have fit. He is. I don't really know anything about him. Yeah, Axel's a teetotal ass. Nothing at all. I even called him an asshole in one of my one of my reaction videos. Who? I reacted to ACDC when when we did their 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 uh um shot in the dark off the new album. I said it's so good. I'm so glad to hear ACDC again and the real ACDC, not fucking Axel trying to play ACDC. You fucking fuck you, Axel. You're an asshole. I didn't want you breaking up my band. <laughs> I did. Fuck, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's why. What's he going to do? Beat me up? I ain't scared. That's why you have the notice at the start saying, you know, these views do not represent whatever. Yeah. Are. are you going to be on for a while? You want me to share this? I just thought about it. <laughs> Sorry. I can do the same if you want. Uh, no, I was uh, I was thinking about shutting down a little bit again. Just okay. yet, All right, the next one I, I gotta get on. I gotta get on bean, green bean casserole and fucking deviled egg still. And I like say it's gonna be fucking midnight or later before we eat Christmas dinner. We might be able to eat, eat on Christmas. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, you me and that. Sasha are on our way. All right. All right, Sasha. On our way to Dabo's house for dinner. Oh. oh yeah, if I could do it, I would do it. You need to move I'll out of here, here first. Sasha. When you move into the states, uh, that sounds nice. 
<laughs> uh-huh. So when is that? We'll, we'll give you a timeline. You'll be out here by summer. Make it happen. By my birthday, June 12th. June That's 7th. not even summer. That's June funny. Summer don't funny. start till June 20th. That's funny you're June 12th because I'm July 13th. June 2nd. See? For all of our you birthdays, you're going to come out. Yeah, so you got to get here so we can just do all the birthdays. We'll just party from, we'll start the party on hers and we'll party straight through yours. Like you know, I did actually, seriously, I did plan to come out because the last time I was in America was in 99. I was there for the millennium. And I did really intend to come back in October, but then COVID stopped that happening. Yeah, I remember um, that. But All right, we'll pack up all those uh, books and DVDs back there and come on out. <laughs> I wouldn't bring those. I wouldn't be bringing those with me. Yeah, well, you're gonna move. You Got to take all your stuff. Oh, you mean right? You mean not a not a trip, but no. permanent. Yeah. Wow. You're one of us, Sasha. Come on. That's thank you. <laughs> yeah. It would be so nice to, you know, see the people I speak to here in person. That would be that would be great. Have you ever met anyone on YouTube? One person, LJ Draken. I've met okay. him five times now. But he only lives an hour away from me. Okay, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. An hour and 15 minutes to be exact. Nice. I'm tired. Christmas, like, wore me out. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> I can't remember what the film was, but I, I bought a film that you recommended to me. Um, me? Yeah. What did I recommend? Uh, was it Eternal Sunshine, Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? No, no, it wasn't. Mm. What did I recommend? I don't remember. It wasn't 42, was it? No. No. No, I'm not enjoying the rain. I hate the rain. I actually don't hate the rain. I just hate the cold. And then when it rains on the cold, it's just like awful. Yeah, it's nice when it rains when it's warm. Yeah, when it's like, yeah, not too cold out. Like San Francisco rain is nice because it's never really that cold there. And then when it rains, it's not it's not so bad. But when she start getting over and like. Oh, I remember. Chico, sorry, I, huh? Sorry, I just remembered. Mm -hmm. um, sorry to interrupt. I got um, the, pursuit, the, the Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, that's a great movie. Okay, yeah, I don't remember recommending it, but it sounds like something I would recommend. That's a good movie. You did. You mm -hmm. recommended it to me, and I got it, and I watched it, and I liked it. Yeah, it's good, huh? It's a really yeah. good movie. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I gotta take my car in tomorrow. I broke down today. Kinda. Oh no. Kinda. I mean, I was on the freeway and I was flooring it and it wouldn't go over 60. And then when I got off the freeway and I stopped, it wouldn't start again. Like it wouldn't, I was like flooring it and it wouldn't go. So I had to turn the car off and turn it back on. And then it wouldn't go up this hill. It just kept jerking back and forth. But I was only a few blocks from the house, so I like kind of just kept letting it jerk just to get back to the house. And then when I pulled up the driveway, it wouldn't go up. Like, my driveway is not that, it's not steep or anything. It's just a little bit of an incline. It wouldn't go all the way up the drive. I don't know what that is. Maybe transmission? I don't know anything about cars. But 
I guess tomorrow I'll take it in to so see the car doctor. Tomorrow is not a holiday for you. <laughs> no, not a holiday. It is here. Oh, you mean like places are closed the day after Christmas? Yeah, it'd be called a boxing oh. day. No, yeah. nothing's closed. Yeah, you guys ain't it. Mm -mm. Right, yeah, Boxing Day. Oh, that's, oh okay. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, everything is closed until the 1st of January, I think. Americans would lose their mind if everything was closed for a week. Right. <laughs> Be that's out so like true. <laughs> stealing TVs and shit. You know how we do. <laughs> Breaking in and looting places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Americans don't know how to act, Sasha. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> but we don't know how to act. Oh. You don't know how to act? Mm -hmm. What? Us as a, our culture, we don't know how to act. Mm. Black fool. Uh huh. If if we don't get what we want, eventually it's gonna be some bullshit. <laughs> People acting stupid. Oh, uh, Jeffrey said there is a sensor. I bet he's talking about your car. I think. Oh, it's something wrong with the sensor. Some type of. But it kind of pisses me. My car's been running weird the last couple of months, and I took it in about a month ago, and they told me the only thing that was wrong with it is that my battery was, like, I needed to replace the battery. I was like, nah, there's something else not right with it. And they were just like, no, there's nothing wrong with it. And, I mean, I don't know anything about cars. I just know, you know, you drive a car, it, it runs a certain way, and when it changes, you feel it, there's a difference. All right. And I don't know how to explain that difference. Just like, it's something not right. <laughs> <laughs> just fix it it's something something ain't right <laughs> so they looking at me like i'm crazy so i'm not gonna take it where i took it last time because they made me look stupid lisa Mm -hmm. I hear it, Sasha. That's difficult to do, I think. Or nearly impossible. What is? To make you look stupid. Oh, no. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, man. <laughs> well, your voice kind of, um, I think, your voice commands respect, if you know what I mean. Are you saying I'm an alpha? I'm saying... The, I can hear the intelligence in the way, just in your voice oh, alone. Thanks. Regardless of what you're saying, just the sound of your voice is, it's clear to me that you are. What if I said poopity scoop, scoopity poop? Yeah, that doesn't change it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think. Thank you. I like when people, like, when everyone's doing good in my family, like, everyone's, like, you know, doing well, they give, like, nice presents on Christmas. Everyone gave, like, really good presents this year. I'm like, sweet. Isn't that awful to say? No, that indicates, yeah, that they're doing well. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Jeffrey says his work van did the same thing your car did. Oh, really? Oh, and I think he knows he knows cars too. So maybe is it like to... costly to fix, or it's just a sensor that needs to be replaced? That's probably not that expensive. I don't think. Maybe. Hopefully. I was thinking transmission. <laughs> Only thing I know about cars is how to drive them, and I barely can do that. It was a speed sensor, I think, he said. Oh, okay. Huh. And I got to this light when I got, like, when I was trying to get up that hill. And it wasn't even that big of a hill. It's just a little bit of an incline. And there was a red light. I was like, oh, gosh, I don't want to stop the car at this light. Yeah. So, like, Turned up this. I turned right on the street because here I, I think you guys have to stop at red light no matter what, right? Yeah. Well, we do too, actually, but we can still turn. You can't turn on a red light, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we can turn if the light is red. We just had to stop first. So I like didn't stop, but I turned and like made it, like a Yui in the middle of the block and then turned back, so I wouldn't have to stop the car because I knew it wouldn't start again. Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's what we call a Kentucky, a Kentucky rolling stop. Is that what you do? <laughs> you don't completely come to a stop. You just slow down enough to make it look like you stopped and keep going. Right, right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But I mean, I don't even think I slowed down enough to make it look like I stopped. I just didn't want to completely run the red light through the intersection. I thought that stop was optional, officer. It was a light. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the light was optional. Just burn <laughs> red. You're about 30 seconds behind me, Willie. You're close. You um, and the time you started the stream to, to the real time. Oh. 30 seconds, that's nothing. That's what I see today. <laughs> that, is, that would sound like something she would say. <laughs> this might sound like a strange question to ask, but hmm. is Houston, I mean, is Texas, what's the distance between Texas and, and San Francisco? Oh. Is it a lot or a little? It's a lot, but not like um, not like the furthest. It's um, what is it? It's like maybe six or seven states away. Is that right, Jeffrey? That would be my estimate, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't drive there. Let's see. Hmm. Let me. That would be a pretty good drive. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that drive. What about I'm Alabama? Texas. Yeah, that's that's far. Um, oh wait, no, it's not that many states. <laughs> I said six or seven. It's a. Uh, it's three three states actually, <laughs> but it's a twenty one hour drive. 21 hours. I've done that live. Uh, no, I <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to drive that. Nah. 
I didn't even fall asleep on that live stream. I I wouldn't want to drive anywhere more than like I I drive to Vegas when I go to Vegas. That's about a ten hour drive. That's about as I've done it in like seven. <laughs> that that's from San Francisco. Um, <laughs> but. I, Anything more than that, I wouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't want to do. Yeah, it gets it gets tiring after that. Mm-hmm. I've done a six-hour drive, but that's you know, when you don't have a choice, I got right. Lost. Yeah, six hours. I I I don't mind. I wouldn't mind. I have to prepare for that though. Jeffrey said it's one thousand nine hundred and twenty-seven miles from San Francisco to Houston. Oh hell, you been out of wires. No, that's that's too far to drive. And like Alabama, that's that's way further. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. If Texas. I were, I mean, I've got. I know a woman in Alabama. I know two women in Alabama. I think they might even be neighbors. Um, and someone in Houston too. That's why I asked. Ah, uh, let's see. Alabama is that's a thirty-three hour drive. Hell no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, that's old. <laughs> so that's that's too far. Yeah, that's over but there. it would be fun to just get in a car and just drive across the country and just like go from state to state, but not only drive, but like stop and chill and enjoy the state for you know a day or two and like go on to the next one. That'd be fun. Yeah, make a make a thing out of it. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind doing that. I've never been to the South. Was that by choice? Um, well, I said I would never go to Texas ever. But I've never um, had a desire to go to the South. Yeah. You, you yeah, know the clan? Huh? <laughs> I mean, I think since I started YouTube, though, I think my view of the South has changed because, like, I like have met people from the South, and it's not like what like I thought it. You know, like I, they're the people aren't how I thought they were. <laughs> I'm sure there are some people the way I think they are, but you know what I mean. I was going to say, that's probably just some of them. <laughs> right, right. I mean, there's assholes here, too, so what, what do you what do? You do? <laughs> right. <laughs> there's assholes everywhere. <laughs> oh, I just remembered, uh, yeah, there's another woman I know from not just you, but someone else in San Fran, too. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Yep. San Francisco is not what it used to be. I miss how it was. Like when I was growing up. It's just like a lot of people that are not from San Francisco kind of took over San Francisco. And all the people that lived in San Francisco moved out because you know the cost of living is too high to live there. So all these like communities are, they're not what they were before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So just a lot of people like from the Midwest kind of just it's like their place now. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I mean, mm-hmm. I liked it in 96 when I was there. 
yeah, ninety six. It was it was. Um, you still had like the these communities of people, and it wasn't about like it wasn't like super expensive to live there. Brother from visiting L.A. in about April '92. Oh, you did. I said that's better than visiting L.A. in April of '92. What happened in April of '92? April 26, 1992. There was a riot on the street. Tell me, where were you? Can we all just get along? Damn you, straight. You're talking about <laughs> Martin Luther King, right? Rodney King. Rodney yeah. King. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant to say, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Rodney King was on a Celebrity Rehab. He was just such a mess of a man. Really? Yeah, he's just like a he's just a drunk. And he's 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 a he came across as like a really nice guy, but he's just a drunk and he's just like just a mess. Mm. And just like but then he's like this hero to a lot of people. It's like don't why is he your hero? Right. He, I mean I won't get into that. <laughs> I saw um, I saw Henry Hill on the Howard Stern show, and it was quite sad seeing him like that because he was drunk. He was he just turned into a, a drunk old man, and um, after seeing his character in Goodfellas, and then then he turned into that. It was quite sad. Right, it is sad to watch them like go from doing really well to just like hot mess I mean you know he was a criminal he, he served his time but it was just kind of quite a sad to see him decline that much they need to switch over to that boxed wine <laughs> oh right <sighs> can't do wrong with boxed wine mm. No, it's all right. So I, was think- huh? Sorry. I was thinking about making a channel, making a new channel. What are you going to call it? I don't know. Oh, not, not the one that you just created with them. Um, oh, that's garden. a troll channel. Oh. <laughs> I like kind of being anonymous on YouTube. There's something nice about it. It's peaceful for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is. I did make another channel a while back and I um Uploaded a couple of videos on it, but it, and then I just left it. I don't know if I'll do anything with that channel. I kind of just don't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was a lot of work to make that channel. I don't really want to do it again. Like my God Loves Me channel, it was, you know, it took a lot of time to like build that channel. I don't think I want to do all that again. ABQ Albuquerque, mm-hmm. New Mexico. Man, there's probably all kinds of fucking gold and fucking money in New Mexico and Mexico from back in the fucking day. Still, not just shit that's naturally there. I'm talking about shit that got got buried there or whatnot. Get out here and find some fucking uh, uh, Jesse James money and shit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. (sighs) 
<laughs> laugh sounded a little bit evil. <laughs> it was. It I was. Miss that little evil. <laughs> That's funny. It's almost halfway. You and Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. On that. Dabo's like 30 hours for me, Jeffrey is 30 minutes for me. Directly west, Jeff, or directly east of me. Yeah. If I go directly west, I'll run right in. Jeffrey's like my next door neighbor, basically. Yeah, see, there for the longest time, I thought she was down in Southern California. Oh, me? Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't think I could live there. I know I could. I don't think, I mean, I guess I could. I mean, could live anywhere, but I don't think I would be happy. Yeah. Yeah, I would try to survive in LA. I'm good. It's just the people and like the culture there. It's just, it's not for right. me. Right. Mm -mm. not good make it in New York either. Mm hmm. Yeah. The old Mexican mining gold from California before it was a state. That's what's buried in. Yeah. It was buried in New Mexico. Yeah. Bad tree. You Stop know, it. what I got my brother for Christmas, um, I thought about you when I got it for him. I got him some tree. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. That's all I want for Christmas. That's the only thing I <laughs> think you get him. <laughs> so that's all I want for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, all I needed was some was some some weed, and uh, trying I was trying to figure out how to paint my stream yard. Some little uh, tooth fairy drop. Dropped twenty five dollars on card while ago and I stream yards paid. So the shizzle. <laughs> it's made. I'm just putting something together to show you uh a picture. Bow, bow, bow. Um what are you putting? Here? You'll see it in a second. I want to suck too, Jeffrey, and I couldn't afford it. LA ain't good. Been there. Love the attractions. Run away fast when I'm done. <laughs> I got socks. Jeffrey, if you want socks, you better go to Denios. You ever go to Denios? They got socks. Um, it was like 10 pairs of socks for $5. Isn't it? Yeah. That's the swap meat. Well, they fit me. I got some big ass feet, man. They got they got different different sizes. I'm pretty sure I got big ass feet too. They fit me. Probably not as big as yours. But... Big as yours. I yeah, I know, I know, but I do got some big <laughs> ass feet though. This is the woman I know from uh, Alabama. Sasha about to get it in. Oh, your icon's on, on top of her face, but that's her. Yeah, she's a really nice person. I'll give you each a new pair. That's very nice of you, Jacob. Even me? <laughs> she's pretty. Um... Yeah, she is. <laughs> Did you do that for me? Yeah. I was trying to take it clear off, but I guess it doesn't give me the option to do that. No, that that logo is there whether you want it or not. No, you can take it off. Click the no. uh, StreamYards logo one more time. Yeah, the because you, you, you pay for yeah. StreamYard, so you can remove it. Oh, I yeah. can't remove it like I that. Yeah, I, I, I don't have that option, but you do. 
If you pay for it, you'd have the you have the option. Yeah, but I don't think my street the streams I do aren't don't offer enough value to to charge for them. My dumbass paid for StreamYard for the full year, and I don't even fucking stream anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Oh, it's cheaper, I guess." But I accidentally paid for it. I was gonna tell them to get my money back, but then I was like, "Well, whatever. It's better than in the end, it'll be cheaper." But in the end, it wasn't cheaper because I don't even stream anymore. <laughs> But that's because your channel got temporarily stopped, didn't it? I mean, when it comes back, you'll come back, won't you? When what comes back? When you get your channel back, because it's there's there's a big. I'm like gonna get my channels back. Them's gone. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, my channels are gone. They ain't coming back. I got my first strike. Shut um, up, really? Because, um, yep. I mean, the same thing that happened to you, I think, happened to me. That that troll from Alabama, um, uh, Arizona, um, he got a, I think, I had a four month, um, what was it four weeks, one month, uh, temporary block, but, but you know, but it ended. Jefferson, meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Get to the chopper, meow. <laughs> um, so, because that ended, I just thought that's what happened to you as well. But it's not, you're saying. Why'd you say meow, Jeffrey? What's that? I thought he was talking about your picture, but he might have been doing the meow. Or he just likes cats so much. <laughs> half a zip. Oh, half, oh, half a zip. Yep, half ounce. She's really nice. That woman. We kind of made an instant connection too. Cowboy go. Cowboy go. Get stony and chase cowboy gold. Anyone? I'm confused by that sentence question. Jeffrey likes gold mining. And chasing the cowboy gold, the gold the cowboys hit back in the day. Get stony. Yeah, he wants to get stoned and go 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 mining. But you can't be productive when you're stoned. Right? I mean, or well, maybe some people can be. We are. Yeah. We actually work a lot better. Depends on, when we're depends on what what which type you're smoking, whether it's uh, indica or sativa, and uh, yeah, he said bullshit. <laughs> Jeffrey said bullshit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it also depends on um, how much of a tolerance that person has built too. You know, someone that just smokes, you know, once a day, twice a week, once a week. Compared to somebody that smokes every couple hours or every hour, you know, yeah. it's going to be a lot different. Right. Yeah, of course. I see that. But I know it makes people creative. It can bring out your creative side. But when you say productive, what do you mean specifically? Working. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Mm. Figuring out yeah. problems. Working at a job. Because I remember you being on streams and you couldn't keep track of the comments. You you couldn't yeah, read them. That was Indica. You couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't make sense of them. That was Northern Lights. That was really strong Indica. 
<laughs> that was nighttime medication is what the fuck that was. Jeffrey, what are you talking about? I'm confused. Small water said, well, the Seminoles took my money tonight. Damn. Lost your ass, didn't you? No, I want to know what Jeffrey's referring to. Oh, the bullshit? Yeah. What did I say? Because you said that people couldn't uh, couldn't um, function. function while high. Be productive while high, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it affects different people differently. Sit in the couch and do live streams. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I've this been higher. True. I've been higher a few times on a live stream myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got the name William Blankenship. <laughs> but if it's in a gold mine work digging and mining and an anything to do with mining I need an ounce and papers so <laughs> hands are free to dig Classify running as sluice. Sluice. Uh, I don't know how to fuck to say that word, Jeff. Yeah, something to do with the uh, gold mining. <laughs> Which word don't you know how to say? Um, Last one. Oh, the common one. Uh, I, I haven't shown up. Yet. Oh, yeah, sluice. Slu slu sluice. Luigi. <laughs> I want to smoke this thing. Sounds like you're trying to find another way to say Luigi. It's Luigi. Ah, <laughs> oh, doobie. <laughs> so, Sluice uh, box. That looks kind of like a juice box, Jeffrey. So, uh, yeah, then. Sluice box says Sluice. GLM said um, thing that shakes and washes dirt. Oh, that big machine that shakes all the fucking dirt in the big boat. I got yeah, you. Basically like a huge colander. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what that with, is. Um, with a big ass vibrator attached to it. Really? <laughs> oh. so kind of, that, that kind, of, kind of vibrator to chip your teeth. If you say so. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just going by what I heard. <laughs> I've just uh, created that picture. I have that now stored. Maybe I should. <laughs> um, so I take it. I heard, I heard a chick say one time you put fresh batteries in it. You better be careful and chip your teeth. Right. I take it weed is legal in in San Francisco then because she said she got her brother some. Oh, it's, it, yeah, it's California, California was the, California was the first state in the in the anywhere besides Amsterdam to legalize it that I know of. Yeah. California legalized a long time ago. They figured out it was medicine a long time ago. That's really the rest weird. of the country just took forever to fucking come to terms with that. That's and, kind of uh, weird to me. You just said night. You just said Road Warrior, and now Nightbot's talking about him. Yeah. It's only illegal if you get caught. And it's not illegal to have it in your body. It's just illegal to possess it. So you just have to eat everything before the cop gets to it. If you're in an illegal spot. But if it's in your body, you possess it. I mean, it's in your system, quite literally. 
No, because it's only, that's what I'm saying, it's only illegal to possess the flower. Once you've smoked it, it's no longer a flower. Hmm. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust, the little lungs is too small to hot box with us. <laughs> Not according to law, Jeffrey said. Yeah. I think that's the same. He's, he's saying the same thing I am. That uh, once, yep. It is ash and you under the influence. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's just a whole different charge then. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't get you for possession anymore then. Just get you with the United yep. There are head shops here. You can buy it. But they advise you that you don't use it. <coughs> you know, that you don't what? That you, that you just don't use it. They'll sell it to you, but they, they advise that you don't use it. They can sell it to you, but it's just for um, decoration. For potpourri to make your house smell good. Yeah, it's just for. A jar of mail for to just to make it look pretty. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know about, uh, like, if someone over tries to overdose on pills and, and they got some illegal narcotics and they pump them back out and still pills, I don't know if they can get for possession then or not. But, yeah, if you smoke weed, there's there's nothing else. There's there's nothing left. It's, it's in your bloodstream. They can't get you for possession of the fuck. Plant, you know, right. I really hope I have the fucking, I'm able to afford enough one of these days to make some fucking edibles. Um, what do you mean? You don't need to use a lot. Well, that's, that's, up, that's up to you how much you put in there. Yeah, we'd have to use a lot. <laughs> I think I use too much myself. Yeah, we, we should probably, I, I'm guessing we should probably put like a half ounce of a batch of brown, probably. Not in possession or operating machinery. Exactly. As long as you don't have it in your possession, you're legal. <laughs> Um, I just need to send you some. Ah, uh, what well, edibles? That's that's probably about right, though, ain't it, Jeffrey? Am I about right on my calculation there? I would probably have to put like a about a half ounce in a, a eight by eight fucking brownie mix. I think I was onto something earlier. That might be the reason why I don't like the Lion King. It's it's Elton John's involvement. Yeah. I mean, he did all the music. You know, it's it's just overkill with him. Of course, I'm it's not, not him in the movie, though. But it's all CGI, of course. Well, it was hand drawn animation, a mixture of both. Yeah. But. A friend of mine, he can't do this. Um,
Wait, I can't turn off this picture. Um, oh, yes, I can. A friend of mine, he, he, he can't do this. He can't, he can't, his thumbs aren't powerful enough to. Huh. Why is that not like. Is he trying other things? No, I don't think so, but it's it's weird to me that why is this not lighting now? It's kind of hard to do with the other two, but try it. That's weird. I just lit it with my ring finger. Try the pink now. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> this is full, but it's not. <laughs> I did it. Okay, it does work. I but not the oh, um, I just lit it with all five. All, all four fingers, fingers and my thumb. Somebody's just gone live. A reigning woman. She's a new subscriber of mine. It's an ounce per pound and a half of butter. Depends on strain. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true too. If it's dirt, you might as well put a full fucking ounce in the basket. Fuck around. <laughs> One ounce per pound and a half of butter. Mac and cheese. A whole new level using that butter. I'm about to say. <laughs> Put a little extra butter on. Grilled cheese probably the shit too. <laughs> he said, yep. I've got two different comments open now this one and someone else because uh wow somebody's just, gone, somebody's just gone live and she's already received two thumbs down just two minutes into the live stream damn she's not even spoken yet well, that's good to watch that thumbs down <laughs> Mac and cheese is on a whole nother level using that butter. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh, shit. Still get dirt? Can't find it. Yeah, I can get you dirt weed if you want. <laughs> it still costs too much even for being dirt weed. Well, my green bean cast roll should be beaten soon, and then the rolls are going in, and we're going to eat here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Actually, fuck, we still got to make a fucking double day. Damn. Yeah. I got to get off here. Okay. That's a good timing because. Um, well, we'll try, try to take a lot of food before, before midnight tonight so we can say we ate Christmas dinner. All right. Yeah. Um, we, I suppose you were just going to go when um, GLM came in. I enjoyed talking to him. Glad you came in. Yep. Yep. Oh, God, I hadn't heard from him for a while myself. And she said, You're one of us. I really like that when she said, You're one of us. Yep. I've been telling you. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. All right, if you bring it to a close, I'll go. Um, yeah. <laughs> good night. Yeah, good night, Nightbot, and everybody else. Not Merry um, Christmas, hell yeah. Yep. Good night, everybody. Merry Christmas, and you'll, I'm sure you'll see me before New Year's. Me too. Yeah. All right.
Bon appétit. Bye, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Merry Christmas. <laughs>